Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with us, the Chris and DC show. Mr. Parr is not show. here. Yeah, it's the best show. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are playing uh, Recover the Relics, which is one of the new ones coming out very, very soon, 2022. Uh, yeah. uh, no, chapter approved. Yeah. Um, and we are playing in my hometown, it's my favourite, it is a recently liberated um, Gene Sitter cult world ex-imperium. And it's, this is my favorite. Well, no, pirates have turned up to loot it. Yeah, pirates haven't turned up to loot it, exactly. There's some shiny gubbins over here. <laughs> and you want some, some shiny gubbins. We want the booty. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously Mars themed based on uh, on my stuff, which I really like. Um, they didn't make the map for my models, just to want to clarify that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It'd be strange if they did. It'd be strange if they did. Let's go straight into the armies. Let's start off with the beautiful red corsets. Oh, thank you. That's right. So today I've got a battalion and a patrol. Nice. Just because I've got too many characters. <laughs> uh, start off, Horan Blackheart. Yes. The big bad boss himself. He is. I requested uh, him. Yeah. I did. You did? I did. So, uh, <laughs> he's got his Reverlord Warlord trait. Yes. So which gives him plus one attack every time he kills a character in combat. But also gives me plus one uh, free relic. Okay. So okay. I get two free relics in this yeah. armor. Um, he's got the Psychic Power Presence. And Smite, obviously. I'll go wrong with that. He's got his Amadra. Yeah. The little Amadra. Such a cutie. Uh, he gives Marmy plus one CP as well. You and your CP. <laughs> yeah. Uh, second in command is the Sorcerer Jump Pack. The old classic model. It's so classic. Yeah. I have a new one. I will paint him up one no, day. No, you I, I actually have another Sorcerer. I've got Terminator Sorcerer. Doesn't count. Yeah, it does. Uh, he has Warp Time and Delight Bagnes. He's Marcus Sinesh, obviously. So, along with basic everything is Marcus Snash except for the Disco Lord, so he give anyone a feel no pain. Love it. Uh, troops wise, a unit of 19 Chaos Space Marines, Chain Axe and the Champion, Bolt Pistols, Chainsaws, and everyone else. Um, Marcus Snash, Icon of Excess, to give the 5 plus Death and Force everybody. Yeah, I do love that. Yeah, I love that. It's got to be done now. Yeah, I think. yeah. It's, a, it's, it's a, a portal. Yeah. Uh, two squads of five man marines, las cannon, and four bolt guns. So that gives me three extra CP as well. <laughs> um, elite slots: two leviathans, kid out the same, dual storm cannons, dual volkites, and three missiles in the top. Tailored. No tailoring. Calling man. it now. Tailoring. Maybe a little bit. I needed more guns. You have a very old codex as well. Yeah, exactly. The oldest. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the heavy sport, two Mall of Fiends, mm -hmm. Lash of Tendrils, love them, I need one more. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have another one at home, one day we'll get built and painted. No. No, one. no. <laughs> um, the patrol detachment, double discos. Of course. Uh, the Chris Classic. I mean, they're so good, you have to. Yeah, yeah they're really good. Especially if you re-roll, uh, re well, advanced advance charge. charge. Yeah. So good. So um, these guys actually have the relics. So one is Marcus Snesh with the Intoxicating Elixir. Mm -hmm. It's plus one strength, plus one attack. Quite nice little buff. That is nice. And the other one, Mark Corn with the... Um, Talisman of Burning Blood. That's the jump. Yeah. So yeah, that's them too. I love it. And a unit of 27 cultists. Points. Yeah, basically. Um, 10 with auto guns, the rest with close combat knives and auto pistols. I like the mixing. I think it gives a bit of... Utility back and forth. Yeah, exactly. I tend to just run all auto guns with my masses. Uh, and this is well, I've got three more, three more cultists plus a heavy stunner. That is all the cultists I have. You need more. I have like 20, 30 more at home. Then I'll get painted. So, 40 more at home. Then we'll get painted. Let's move on to the Gene Stealer cult. We are still showcasing uh, as it's Gene Stealer cult month, as everyone knows. Ascension month. It's essentially it's always month. just a day, but no, it's a month. It's a month long. It takes <laughs> us that long to take over the planet. So, um, we are running a battalion today, and I am trying out the four armed emperor. Uh, I've done Twisted Helix so far. That was on YouTube, which you can watch as well uh, for free right now. And I've also done Pauper Princes, which was on SM Plus. So, if you're not on SM Plus, you ask yourself why. Help the guys out, get some extra content, jump into the Discord. It's all good. And yeah. it's like a pound a week for an extra report. It's not bad. Yeah, it's good value, I think. Anyway, yeah. I played against Gaz and the Orcs with Port Princess. It was a really good game. Uh, check that one out. I won't, no spoilers, but it was a turn five nail biter. Now, 
Um, to go into this list today, it is Forearmed Emperor. What is that, you ask? Well, I'll tell you, Chris. It is reroll charges, and if you're 12 away, I get light cover. And that counts for me, which is really nice. That must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's handy anyway. Now, uh, it is a battalion today, and running that battalion, I have a Primus as my Warlord. He has Alien Majesty, which increases his um, aura abilities by three. Um, and then Meticulous Planner that he has is uh, also increased by three to other 12 to four. So basically what it is, is uh, I pick a unit, reroll ones to wound for attacks, um, and then he has a continuous aura of reroll ones within nine inches now to hit, which is nice. So yeah. good buffing character. Um, I've actually spent uh, points to upgrade him to, I believe it's called Efficient Planner or something along those lines. Essentially what it does is it allows me to do another um, Meticulous Planner Basically, the reroll ones to wound per command phase, because he does that. Um, Not bad. Not bad. Then, um, supporting him, we have the Magus. Now, she is, well, one, an amazingly painted model by Blood Moon Painting, a.k.a. Josh. Yep. Um, so check him out. We'll try and see if Paolo will put his name above on the Instagram. Uh, he gifted this to me because he um, is notorious for starting armies and then not starting them <laughs> anymore. And one of them was Gene Steeler Cult. I was saddened to the day he, he sold them all. But he sent me the Magus and she is absolutely amazing. I've just done some Mars basing on her. Ruined um, it. Ruined it. <laughs> but um, uh, she today is going to be running the Crouchling. I've spent upgrade points, of course, to take a familiar, um, which has changed a little bit now. It's reroll per psychic phase, psychic test. Um, and if I roll any doubles, then it can't be denied, which is kind of handy. So I yeah. thought I'd give that one a change. I still really like the Unwilling Orb, though. That is my favorite so far. Um, so that's those two. That's the two HQ slots. Then we go into the troop choices. We have not one, but two units of 20 neophytes. Both identical. We have four mining lasers. We have two webbers and two um, grenade Great. launchers followed by an icon. Now, um, following that, we have two units of five acolytes, just completely standard, no upgrades on them. Then we have a unit of 15 acolytes. These guys have six saws, and they have an icon, um, starting off there, and no other upgrades on those. Then we move on to the other troop choice, which is 10 Acolytes with hand flamers. There's only nine hand flamers because the icon can't take it. <laughs> it really annoys me. Because Here comes the salt. The neophytes can take it. You can have an auto gun, a pistol, and an icon, but apparently the dudes with three arms can't do or carry all that. So, anyway, so there's only nine flamers there, saving three points, I guess, um, uh, for a squad. And that's all my troop squads sorted. Then we go into the elites. We have a unit of 10 gene stealers. Those guys have been upgraded to have a trap is sprung, 3d6 charge, remove one dice, which is really handy. Yeah. Um, then we have a unit of aberrants. We have nine of them. The champ has the um, improvised weapon, which is not as good now, I don't think, personally, because there's only plus one strength. Um, but still, he still has it because it's what his WYSIWYG is modeled. They have our time is nigh which is um, extra attack at the start of the first, their first combat. So it's pretty handy. Then we have a Biophagus, the Doctor. I didn't bring his little familiar friend today. I wanted to save on the points. And I didn't upgrade him either with the um, Supreme Alchemist, which is where you can give a genomic enhancement to a unit using the Aberrants, the Flag and Field Pain, before the game starts, which is quite handy. I didn't bother because I'll probably just do it to it during the game um, and save points there. So yeah, I just want to try it out. Yeah. Run it that way. Then... Uh, last in the elite slots, we have a Kelomorph, um, and the Kelomorph is running a Relic, so spend extra CP there. The Wormtooth Rounds, I've used it before um, in one of the uh, SM Plus games, I think it was, yeah. but I'm using it today on YouTube, essentially. Um, you can change the ammunition on any of the three guns. It changes the ammunition to make it uh, one shot, one heavy one, AP3, strength 6, damage 3. That's quite nasty. Yes, yeah, nasty. And you still get Gunslinger, um, which is super strong because you can potentially get six hits with that. So it's potential of 18 damage, essentially. Yeah. Um, on top of that, I've given him an upgrade for the Perfect Ambush. It's a crossfire unit, which he is. When he comes up from um, underground, or deep strike, essentially, then he gets 
to shoot at the unit, and that unit is considered to have crossfire marker and being exposed. So he gets plus one to hit, so it negates the heavy heavy when he comes up from underground, and he gets plus one to wound. That's quite nice. So you can pop up and really just mint something, vehicles or whatever have you. Yeah. So we're gonna try him out, um, see how he gets on. Again, in, in this one, uh, it could be a staple within my more competitive side of GST the Cult, which I will be trying. Um, but yeah, that's the elite. And actually, those two guys don't take up any slots in this army because I have two HQs. And as per the new rules, every character HQ mm -hmm. takes up another character slot. Not that it really matters because you it have doesn't two matter. other elites. So. Yeah, it didn't matter, but yeah. just as a point of reference. Um, then lastly, we have the fast attack. We have two squads of four um, Atalan Jackals. Just standard. They're all equipped with shotguns, but they're now just all one generic weapon. And the leaders have grenade launchers on them. Um, keep them nice and cheap, but I really like those two squads of four. Um, I think they're really handy. They I almost bought my bikes. Could have had a bike off. We could have had a bike off, yes. <laughs> but your bikes are ancient. Yeah, they are. My bikes are cool scramblers. Then we have yeah. <laughs> two Goliath trucks to finish off, transports. Um, just standard, didn't upgrade them at all with weapons cache or anything else. And that is the list. That is the list. I think it's 1996 points. Could be wrong. I think mine's about the same, actually. Ooh. Yeah. Mm, indeed. So. I did forget to say my Legion trait is gives everyone advance and charge. It's not a Legion. Shut up. So, which affects the characters and the care space rings. Word That's it. Is a real Legion. That's a real Legion. Oh, yeah. You'll reroll morale. Shut up. Um, <laughs> so, that's that. Also, the free CP thing. Mm -hmm. So if I've got three squads of marines, I get plus three CP. Yes, yes. So with the pluses, minus the patrols and these, I still start with 12 CP. Of course. Of course he does. Of course he does. <laughs> Let's go into secondaries. Secondaries, <laughs> secondaries. Uh, we'll start off with uh, yourself. Yep. So I've gone for engaging on fronts. Beautiful. So staple for me. I want to be across the board, so mm -hmm. it's always good. I've gone for... Uh, assassination. Grind them. Yeah, assassination, because it's four characters. And I've gone for grind them down. I'm hoping to kill more of you every single turn. I think so. Maybe my cult icons will help me there, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. Um, I've gone for, funny enough, assassination. Because it's four characters. Because it's four characters. Um, and it's more points than if I would have got to bring them down, if anyone's thinking. Um, uh, bring it down, you mean. Bring it down, apologies. Yeah. Um, then I have taken stranglehold, because I want to be quite, you know, all over the board, grabbing yeah. objectives, doing all the nonsense. Um, especially if I've got a lot of deep strike. Then, lastly... I have taken assassination to the last. To the last, exactly. So to the last. Lastly to the last. Yeah, lastly to the last. <laughs> um, and that for everyone is the unit of aberrants and the two units of twenty neophytes. Quite expensive, two hundred and forty points, I think. Quite expensive. Um, or two hundred and thirty points, maybe two hundred and thirty. Anyway, yeah. point being, it's those three spots. So yeah. if they survive at the end, awesome. I could have spent a CP for clandestine goals. I think it is where I hide a secondary from you, but it's difficult when you're in a studio. We got to like you know. Yeah. Talk about it. And talk about it, and yeah. <laughs> um, but maybe I'll do it one day. Um, but that's it. So that's the secondaries. You've seen the armies. You've seen the battlefield. You've seen Ascension Day is upon us, and we shall rid ourselves of pirate scum in just a second. The Red Corsairs' bike left a heavy tread in the red dust as the Chaos Space Marine scouts sped towards the hive sprawl of Nelix IV. Zeresh, inform Lord Horan we have arrived within the Outer Hive. No resistance or Imperial forces detected. It's strange. There are no signs of conflict here. Bullet holes and scorch marks strewn across these hab blocks. These aren't burns from Laz cannons. It's not precise. Looks more like mining equipment. A revolt, and we miss the slaughter. But where are all the screaming wretches, the citizens of the corpse god? The defense forces quelling the rebellion. This hive feels dead. What plunder can we hope to find? Something isn't right here, Cortel. Silence your tongue, Suresh. We are being watched.
Something doesn't quite seem right in this loyal Imperial world, which the raiders of the Red Corsairs have discovered. Where are all the citizens? Where's all the plunder? Where are all the G Silicon? <laughs> Where are all the G Silicon? <laughs> they will be here shortly, my friend. Don't you worry. We are playing Recover the Relics. Uh, my second time playing this, and you're. Third, I think. I am. I played in the tournament as well. So it's 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 quite interesting. I quite like it. So um, we have obviously an objective here, an objective here, and an objective here, and in the dawn of war style deployment, and of course mirrored on the other side here. Dawn, and then by dawn of war. Uh, not dawn of war. A uh, hammer and anvil. Yeah. Sorry, hammer <laughs> and anvil. <laughs> uh, we have the objectives obviously here on the top. So uh, let's quickly go over terrain. We have crates. Got it. Okay. Nailed it. Um, we have dense covered, um, just some rocky outcrop, and the same here, dense cover, all the usual stuff that goes with that. Then we have these, which are um, classing as ruins, or are we classing them as just landslide blocking blocks? Um, it's just ruins, it yeah. just makes life easier. Makes life easier. So all the blue is yeah. ruins after the uprising. So all these middle ones will be obscuring, these ones won't be because they'll be less than five. Less than five, so yeah, to an untrue line of sight. Now, let's <laughs> bless you. No go. No one's getting me. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's go over deployment. Let's start with the beautiful Red Corsairs. Cool. We have cultists. Yep. Cultists on the flank. I love it. My favourite. Yep. First Disc Lord as well. Nice fast units on the flanks. What do you want? Uh, is he the Burning Blood one? Uh, no, he is the Mark Slash Intoxicating Elixir. Ah, okay. Beautiful. So, yeah. Uh, Mordafi number one. Leviathan number one. You know, five Marines just holding there with the last cannon and the foreign black heart in front. I like it. And he's forward, man. He's forward. He's shouting the Leviathan. <laughs> the other Leviathan, another Marine squad hiding up there. Wall of Fiend. Sorcerer in the middle. Yes. Disc Lord. I love the deep Sorcerer. <laughs> he's classic, man. He is metal. And the uh, bigger squad of uh, Marines. Oh, terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Perhaps the Leviathans are actually Astral Claws that used to be in there, right? Uh, no, the Astral Claws probably wouldn't have had them. Oh. Because they were late founding and obviously they're. Uh, Leviathans are from the so, Horus Heresy. So these are stolen? Yeah, these are stolen. Right, gotcha. <laughs> Classic Red Corsairs. Yep. Um, my deployment is as follows. We have blip, 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 blip. And going around here. And of course, I do have the um, meticulous planner, I believe it's called, where I have two CP bases to move two of them. It's expensive nowadays. Remember before when I used to have put three down, remove them, take others off? It was just silly before. It was a little yeah. bit, but I really liked it because it offered me a lot of more shenanigans. Anyway, there's the blips I have there. And in Deep Strike, you have nothing. Nope. In Deep Strike, I have, let's see if I can remember this, yeah. I got the two squads of Neophytes. I have the 15-man squad of Acolytes. I've got the Kelomorph. I've got the Primus. And obviously in the trucks that I mentioned at the start, I've got the Aberrants and then the other squad of Acolytes with the Flamers. Did you mention the Pure Strengths? Oh, and the Pure Strengths. Thank you. Useless. <laughs> Useless. Useless. <laughs> so, and the pure strains are also in deep strike as well. Because I'm four-armed emperor, I want to try the whole re-roll charges thing, see how it goes. Um, so yeah, we're probably not well. So we'll find out soon enough. Now, you're using, you've stolen in classic stolen rainbow dice. Yeah, in classic rainbow Pillaged, dice. please. Uh, pillaged. The pirates. Okay, looted. A rainbow dice from Mr. Pardo. I am using Hellstorm Wargaming in black now. Um, probably available on their store, if not, contact them. Um, Mikey said he is, quote unquote, the best Gene Steeler cult player ever, recently. So <laughs> so I'm going to use it for the power of the luck and Gene Steelers. I don't know, I can't see that happening. Well, ah, I believe. I have faith. Okay, here we go. That's a four. And a four. And now four. Okay, keep it tense. No again. That's one. a two. That's a one. Oh, oh, that means Gene Steeler cult going first. Do I want that? I have no idea. You yeah. asked me before the game, I was like... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I think so. Well, I have no choice. So we're going to teach you the cult. Turn one. Coming up. Here we are. The cult has arrived. Not all of them. Just a couple. Yeah. <laughs> um, when I actually put on the board, I was like, ooh, not as much presence as I thought I had in my <laughs> head. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, now, we'll start off on this flank. Obviously, five acolytes here um, capturing that objective and also screening best they can on this side because I know the Red Corsairs have nasty, nasty stratagems. Awesome. <laughs> Never. <laughs> um, and the same here, I just tried to um, kind of basically cover this area, should be fine, but this area I could not cover, I just have the bodies. Um, but the Acolytes try to do their best there to do the same thing. Megas Estate put at the moment, there's no real need. Um, 
for her to go anywhere just yet and pop out and potentially get shot, etc. from nasty las guns, las cannons firing from the top of the buildings. Yeah. Um, then we've advanced over here, got a five, and moved over with the first truck, the first Goliath truck, which has the um, acolytes in it with the flamers, just waiting for their turn. And over here we had a, another good advance roll um, I got with the other truck, which had the aberrants, of course, and the doctor, the biophagus inside. Now, we did two great advance rolls. We did a CP one over here for rapid advanced auto move six, which allowed me two things. Obviously, it allowed me to completely hold uh, back the tide against the um, very nasty Wall of Fiends and Disco Lords, at least for a turn. Then, on top of that, we captured that objective and Stranglehold is the end of my turn. Which is that one you did no pounce on. That was completely by mistake because I went, oh, like, you're holding uh, the end, right? And you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally in the plan for the Gene Steeler cult. How dare you? Um, uh, generations in the making. <laughs> it is generations in the making. <laughs> Over here, we have the uh, other squad that is basically blocked off this side and across here with a lovely, actually only an advance of two, but they had plenty of uh, plenty of movement to do so. So I'm holding back these nasties over here a little bit. Um, hopefully the aberrants then can come out and play afterwards. Depends on how Chris plays. The problem is, is that I know tire traders exist, and I know over here that, I don't know what's called, more where they came from, um, where the Marines will come in. So I imagine over on this flank, I'm going to see a wall of red, which is troubling for me. I am outnumbered as a Gene Steeder cult, but of course my turn two, I'm hoping the rest of the guys show up. So, yeah. That's the table you're missing the Mmm, it's true. <laughs> not gonna happen. <laughs> no. Now, um, I'm not gonna do any psychic uh, power. She's got, obviously, psychic stimulus to advance and charge, etc. But the benefits there. All might from beyond. Um, but there's no need in this stage because I could spend a CP for just on consciousness, which allows me to do, cast it anywhere on any friendly unit on the board. Yeah. I think maybe only infantry. I'd have to check. But anyway, the point is, it allows me to cast, say, on here, on here, but there's no point. There's no... There's no need. I don't need it. Um, they're there to die, yeah. unfortunately. You just risk a parallel otherwise. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, uh, with that, only shooting we've got is the two grenade launchers from these squads. And I'll just put them both into there, because they advance, but it is assault weapons. So I'll put them both into the Mauler Fiend. Hit on fives. One hit. Uh, wounding on fives. One wound. Minus one. Uh, four up save. Four up save. It's a oh. fail. This is D10 mortal wounds. Ah. Oh. That that, that's 20. Wound? 20 mortal wounds. Ah, oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Just the one. Cool. Mortal. Oh, why do you bother putting a wound marker? Because he heals a wound if you can't Ah, insult <laughs> to injury. <laughs> yeah, just the one wound there. Uh, and that's in my turn, which is really surprising. Not, nothing going on. No real yeah. shooting needed. Next turn is where all the fun happens, I hope, everyone. Um, so let's get into Red Corsairs. Turn one. All righty. Here we go. Movement phase for the Red Corsairs yep. is finished. Let us start over here. We've had a normal move, no advance, yep. from the Cultist Blob. Um, we had an advanced move from the Disco Lord number one, but of course Red Corsair, that's going to charge. Movement forward a little bit with the first Leviathan, and of course a little bit with the Morphine, but of course they're stuck yep. because of those little bikes, the pesky bikes. Yeah, roadblock. Yeah, <laughs> just a small roadblock for now. Uh, over here, the other Disco Lord has pushed up along with the Mortal Fiend to get as close as they can uh, with the Sorcerer jumping in between them, yep. or probably for a cheeky little walk time if that unit is removed afterwards, which would be very nice. Then the Leviathan is supporting behind them. Huron has advanced, is holding the center ground between these um, spires, these, what are they called? Rock piles? Rock piles? They, they, they have a name, right? Uh, like in the Rockies in, in America. I have no idea. Oh, what are they called? Anyway, name below. <laughs> yeah. I think they got a name, a special name, like in the Westerns. This unit is just shuffled forward to get the Laz Cannon on bead over here, because it's minus one anyway to shoot through, so why not? And the same over here yeah. to fire. It's minus one, but it can clip onto this um, truck, glad truck right here. Now, beautifully, they do get the light cover benefit, which is nice because we are for armed emperor yeah. um, within 12 inches. So, not bad, not bad. With that, let's kick into the psychic phase. Uh, not quite yet. Oh. I spent three CP for more where they came from to jump the Marines over there. No, 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 that didn't happen. I mean, no, right no, that, that. it definitely happened. That, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you forgot that. That's right under your nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, I mentioned it at the start. There's nothing I could do about it. They came from this side. Uh, it, I think it makes sense. I mean, get charged, wrap that up, then that'd be great for you. Um, so yeah, that's got your big beasties in there. It does have my in there. So if I can wrap that nicely, then when it explodes, 
they die automatically. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. Um, that's <laughs> troubling for me, but we shall see. Let's see how it goes. Now, um, with that, let's now go on the psychic phase. Yep. Uh, we're going to start off with Horn. Okay. He's going to do the ball one, which is a smite on him. I'm okay. Going to smite these guys out of the way. Then warp time up. I like that. Horn is notorious for his great rolling with Chris. No, but he's the most useless psychic in the galaxy. I was, my being, hands. I was being a sarcastic. Super smite. Oh, oh you <laughs> see, you see, you see the one. Ah, three. three. That'll do though. That's yeah. one dead and one with one wound. Up. This guy. You don't take this one. From the nah, I'm okay with the disco lord one. Oh, so he's taking there. the wood though, yeah? No, 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 no. Um, because he cast one, he gets to do a second one now because of the Hamadra. Okay. So he will put presence on. Are there any matters? I don't think. Uh, might as well put on this Mortal Fiend. I like it. Mortal Fiend presence. Yep, that goes, goes off. off. Beautiful. I can't deny. I don't have the unwilling all, but I brought the crouchling. Why? I don't know now. Because <laughs> I would be denying. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, so, next sorcerer, he will do another smite. Smite. Super smite. Oh, man. Close, but not quite. That's three, three though. Nice. So, that's so another that's one gone, and the other one's on two dead. Uh, yes. He took three. Yes, yeah. and another two. Apologies. Yep. That is correct. Leaving just the one remaining. Uh, now, I will. Warp time the Mauler thing because at least he can get up to about here. Get a cheeky charge on that truck. I like it. Okay, here we go. Warp time. That will off. go off. And that warp time means the Forge Fiend is moving forward. And we'll see where he lands. Just here we go. The shooting phase has begun. But just before we do that, I've spent 2 CP. Put me down to 8 CP remaining for Lurk in the Shadows for this squad here. Which means they can't be targeted unless they're the close silence roll or within 12. So... Um, you've got to get a few, through a few units before you can shoot them. Yeah, so it's good because we were talking off camera, obviously, as we yeah. do. I was thinking, oh, I'll put this Leviathan in there because he doesn't have really many other targets. And I said, no, wait, those bikes are closer. That truck is closer. Yes. I can't see him. Well, actually, this bike's closer anyway, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so basically, I'm not going to be able to shoot them this turn. Yeah, because yeah, I think they'd be dead otherwise. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I think they'd be dead. <laughs> so um, we'll start, where are we starting on the shooting phase? We're going to start off up here, just this last cannon. Okay. Can get a bead down on this truck. I like that. I'm not shooting the bike because I want to charge him with the Disc Lord to try and get, get free movement. movement. That makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Okay. Yep. So, last cannon. cannon. Hits on a four. That's a hit. Wound on a three. That's a wound. Minus three, sir. So, it becomes minus two because, uh, like cover, thanks to four-armed emperor. And it counts on everything, guys, remember? Um, even vehicles. So, um, it's only minus two. I have a three-up save. Five. So, five up. Charge. Ooh, saved it. <laughs> Oh, so we go over to this last cannon here. Okay, into the that truck. unknown rock formations yet to be named by commenter. Yeah. So uh, into so the second truck with the aberrants in. So it hits before. And that he hits. It's a hit. Wound number three. That is wound. And again, I have a five up save here. No, that is d6 damage. Do I want to try and reroll that? Um, hmm. it could be a lot of damage. <laughs> Could be a lot of damage. Uh, ooh, yes, I will. This is a bad decision. Cheeky reroll coming in. No, always a one, of course. Four damage Four. becomes three because they do reduce. Okay, well, I'll, so take that. I'll mark three here and I'll get a little wound marker in just a second. Yep. Cool, so that's them two done. That's um, those two done. What are we shooting at next? Oh, is this Discord all in range? Yes, he is. So he will put his flamer. It opens. Oh no, they've got damage reduction, so I will put his flavour into those bikes. Into the bikes? Okay, yep. that makes sense. Uh, number of shots? Ooh, five. Big five. Uh, they are minus one, but it doesn't matter when it's a flamer. Yep, um, so. Toughness strength four. six, so wound on threes. Wound on threes. Four wounds. Uh, one, two, three, four wounds. So minus. Minus two goes down to minus one because it's a light cover. One, okay, so five ups here. They have four up save the bikes. Um, oh, save two. So two wounds, one is slain. Two of it. Damage two. Oh, damage two. Okay, two are gone. Hmm. Let me make a quick decision on which side to remove. So here are the two removed. Well, they're not here because you can't see them. But I took the decision to take this side, the Disco Lord, because um, he's a little bit, a little bit less mean because the reduction of one damage. But I'm pretty sure they're all going to die anyway. <laughs> Doesn't really matter at this stage. Now on to the lots of shots here. Fourteen bolt pistols going to the back of my truck. Yep. So hitting on threes. It's not bad. That's pretty good. And then wounded on fives. Uh, two wounds. Two wounds. All right. Uh, no minus. Three ups. 
That'll do it. We're all good. So we'll go for the Disco Lord next. Mr. Disco. Uh, he can't see these bikes, so he will throw into the truck. Okay, into the truck. Bail Flamer is uh, big. Three, three shots. shots. Okay. Uh, Tough is six, right? Tough to six. Fours. Two wounds. Two wounds. Minus two. Minus two, and you're within 12, so it is minus two. So fives here. No, that's... Two damage. Two damage, because he has reduced, of course. Down to five remaining. Let's go on to the Leviathan next. Yes. I want to clear these guys out of the way. Okay. So I will put the Volkites and one Storm okay. Cannon into them. Okay. And the other Storm Cannon and the three missiles will go into there. Cheeky, I like it. Okay. So let's do the missiles. Uh, missiles, yes. Uh, any mines to hit on the truck? Not on the truck, but on the bikes there is, because uh, they are skilled riders. Cool, so three to hit the truck. Okay. Reroll the one. Four on. Oh, angel. Uh, strength tens. So wounds. Minus. Minus two, I believe it is. So minus one, a four up. That Six. is a save. Yeah. Very lucky there for me. Uh, and then we've got, let's do the Volkites first. Okay. So these are hit and fours against the jackals. They are, yes. Reroll that one. Just Launches. two missed. I like it. Uh, strength six, a wound on threes. Uh, yes, because I'm toughness four. Wow, just two? Yep, two. Uh, uh, minus? Two off, but... uh, no minus. Okay, four up saves here. Yeah. Uh, that's a save. And they're well, out, in a 12 or out of 12? They're in uh, 12? They're 12. Okay, so two damage. So one dead. One dead. He takes a mortal wound from the six. Oh, nice. Leaving one remaining. I'll let you put a little wound mark on there for me in a moment. Oh, I'll do the storm cannon first. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so this is storm cannon under yeah. him. On fours? So that's oh, no, horribly cocked. Okay. Now we roll the ones. Okay. That's not bad. That's very good. Uh, a four, a threes here. Threes. Wow. Okay. Um, um, minus one. Yes. So that's five. A uh, minus one. So five ups. And he's, a, dead. he's very dead. Um, off you go into the Star Children's Void. Let's see if we kill a truck now. Okay. So these are hidden on threes, though. They are. You roll that one. Thanks to Horan. And then wound on threes to strength seven. Uh, five wounds. Okay, five wounds. Uh, minus um, one, plus one, so your basic save. Just my basic save, yeah. Um, I dropped just one, yep. which is damage Two goes down, down to one. So I've got four wounds left yeah. on the truck. Well, this Leviathan, which can see him. Um, Ooh, do you have a little think? Or? No, I'm just checking. Yeah, the Volkite's in range well, so he'll put... Everything into there, but one bother with the missiles. Okay, you want to save the missiles for later. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Let's start with the volkites. Start with the volkites. Then hit them threes. Yes. You roll the one. Beautiful. And strength six. Toughness six. Yes. Fours. Two mortal wounds. Yep. Um. Five saves. And five normal saves with three ups. Uh, two up because you get cover. Oh, get okay, cover. Of course. Yeah. Two ups. Plus one to cover. Uh, but I still failed two. So that's four wounds total to take. Yeah. That's two from there, plus two more. And times. I re-rolled earlier on, right, for saving yeah. throw. So does he blow up? No, he does not blow up. But now my um, aberrants, and this is where aberrants in trucks is not the best idea. Obviously, he should get them out first, but he's got obviously more than enough space that so doesn't matter at this point. So he might as well roll and then get them out. Yeah. Ten with the biophagus, of course, inside. And I lose three. Three? Yeah. Two. That's oh, there's a two. Yeah, I lose two. I Yay! Three. Yeah, it's three. <laughs> so I'll get them out in just a second. Uh, one second. Oh. I might as well. He's going to put his bolt pistol just into him. And then that's the end of my shooting. Oh, okay. So, that makes sense. So do that. Uh, so that's hit just, some threes. That's just cheeky. Yep. Wounds on four. Yep. No wounds. Uh, four up. Nah. He's okay. Yeah, that's the end of my shooting phase. So. Okay, not too bad. You got the truck out and you killed two aberrants. Um... And obviously all my bikers all but one. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure he's dead now. I'm feeling coffee. <laughs> this is the aftermath uh, after my truck exploded and the aberrants got out. Um, I managed to squeeze them here, which gave a 10-inch charge for this squad of Marines. And then over here is a 10-inch um, charge for the Discord. And then I believe there's a 9-inch charge. Uh, yeah, the other way around. So, Sorry. 10 for the Mortal Fiend, 9 for the Disco Lord, and uh, 10 for these guys. So he squeezed in. But I think they're going to be in a world of pain at least a little bit. And a six-inch charge over here for the um, Forge Fiend. And Mortal then, Fiend. Why do I always call it Forge Fiends? I actually messaged you and I was like, well, Forge Fiend? Yeah. Yes. It's in my brain. And over here is automatically in, so yeah, we'll just right. let him do his thing. Yep. Uh, let's start off here. Yes. And hope I make a six-inch charge. Okay. Excellent. Exactly six. 
Exactly what you needed. There you go. So Dink. This goes to there. He's happy. Uh, over here, let's let's do the smaller thing first because he's actually, I think, more important to get in there because you've got damage reduction on him. I do, yes. So, yeah, the damage three fists are going to be a lot nicer. I see, yes, of course. So, uh, uh, um, 10 inch? Yes. No. Nope. I will spend a CP here. CP being spent. Come on. Yay! So that is them in. Big time. Off he goes. He's That's happy. And the Disco Lord will go. Disco Lord's going to go in. But he's a nine. He's a nine. That's nope. a five and a six. That's no good. This is the one that rerolled charges over here. Oh, no. Uh, and a tennis <laughs> charge for the Marines. A tennis charge for the Marines. Was well, it try it? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So those Marines are in a double six. We'll move everything in and we'll get to combat coming. Here we go. This is what the battlefield looks like after all the charges have been made. Over here, it's a little bit off camera. Basically, what Chris would have done is charge the Sorcerer yeah. first. The yeah, Sorcerer jumped across here first. Yes. And he rolled a 10, which basically got him round in yes. the front. And he charged up here just so I've got another uh, summoning screen in the sorcerer. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. That makes sense. That's it. That's fine. I mean, it's all the same. That guy's dead. In there. <laughs> They're all in there. Yes. Um, okay. So I've spent, um, you spent CP on Demon Forge. Yep. So one CP at the moment on Demon Forge. And it will be more because I have done a plan generations in the making. Yep. Where uh, it doesn't cost me anything, but basically the next time he uses it, it's going to cost him double. But well, plus one more, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, so double yeah. The actual wording is plus one. Double. So it means <laughs> each time I want to use Demon Forge in future turns, it's going to cost me two CP. Yeah, which I think you use it more because uh, yeah. we, we I talked talk briefly about putting it on this um, more where they came from, but chances are you won't use it again in the game. So yeah. at least with Demon Forge, he's going to think about it a little bit more. So uh, I've also spent two CP on a mo monstrous bio horrors to give them transhuman. So they yeah. can't be wounded on one, two, or three. Yep. But they don't have single pain, of course, remember, because the biofigures hasn't done his magic yet, which yeah. is a shame. This is my best chance to try and chew through this. So. Yeah, for sure. So, um, yeah, so we're starting over there, the more thing, because this is where you might have slightly interrupt. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. So, so this is the power fist tax, hitting on threes because of presents. Okay. With four rerolls, because of the demon forge. And wound on fours, with rerolls. Uh, so that is four wounds, sir. Four wounds. Uh, minus three. Uh, go straight through, nothing I can do about it. Uh, damage three pop, there's a damage two a pop. Damage two a pop. So that'd be two dead. Okay. Two and two. Yeah. Two dead. I will take uh, these two. Cool. And then I'll do his lasher tendrils. Again, hit on threes. Nice. Demon Forge is beautiful CP. Stratagem. Win on fours. Two wounds. Uh, minus two. Minus two. Uh, go straight through. I have five to save, that's uh, it. Two damage each goes down to one damage each. So one so, more death? Uh, the, the, oh, no, yeah. Three wounds each, yeah. yeah. So one is left on one wound, sorry. Okay, one is left on one wound. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Um, that is him four. Are you going to interrupt in here? Ooh, I think I will. I do have our time is nigh, which adds quite a lot of attacks, Yeah. I think. So I might be able to do some damage on these Marines. I know they've got lots still coming, but it's probably worth it to do CP. Um, let me grab some dice. and Let me just do a bit of math. If I buy a bit of math, I mean, ask you. Yeah. Two CP being spent. I am fighting back, and I am just going to throw everything into the Marines, kill as many as I can, because then my Abrams might stick around. Yeah, you don't know. So um, we have our time is nigh on the unit as an upgrade, which means we get an extra attack in the first time we fight. So I'm starting off with the champion and his um, rubbish stop sign. At least <laughs> I think it's rubbish, but we'll see. Um, so hitting on threes. He drops two. Fantastic. Um, wounding on. Threes, two wounds, minus one. That's one, so prop saves. Uh, one goes through. So that's uh, two damage, but it does spill over, so two dead. Yep. And then the rest of these guys going in to the Marines, hitting on threes. So that's three miss. That's not bad. That's not bad. And then wounded on twos. Um, all of them wound. I'll reroll that one, it's a bit cocked. There you go. So all wound, uh, minus two. Nine, I that's three, six, nine in total, yeah. Minus two, so Jeff? Yeah, minus two. So fives. So that's eight dead. Eight, ten dead in total, right? So uh, yeah. Wow, okay, ten removed. That's not too bad. There's still a lot of attacks coming in. We'll let Chris get yeah. dice and uh, we'll see your retaliation. So here we go. We now have lots coming into it. First time with the champion with the chain axe. Yep, so hit on threes. Hit on threes. That's three extra of hits oh, now as well. Beautiful, yeah. The banner. Thanks to the banner icon of excess. Yep. Uh, wound on falls because he gets plus one strength. He does. So four wounds up, minus one. Okay, six ups. Uh, save two. Wow, so two damage. So one is dead and one 
goes on to a wound. So I'll just take him, and then one goes on to two wounds remaining. We'll just put uh, this guy. And I'll do over here. It's easy yep, for me. So hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. There's lots of extras. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven extras. Eleven extra dice right there. And there's one, one. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot of uh, extra hits. I'm really liking this. Uh, I the told new death I, of all seven. Well, yeah, but I told you about the iconic steps, and you were like, I love my, I love my rerolls. When it was just extra attacks, it wasn't as good. But mm. now it's extra hits. Yeah. Uh, the reroll charge is nicer. Uh, these wouldn't have fives, though. Wouldn't have fives. I'll see quite a few sixes. Yeah, using my own dice. Three, four. That is... Five, six, Perfect. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve wounds. Twelve wounds at minus one because it is a start these chain swords. So six is here. Okay, so that is so one first, dead, yeah. two dead, three dead, and four dead. That's that, the squad. That's the squad wiped out. Perfect. Boo! Uh, I'll remove them, and I guess you're going to consolidate into um, the little bio phase. Yeah, I probably will do. Um, so we'll do that off camera. Is that? Oh, I'm just join us quickly. Yeah, we we'll go into this next one over here. We'll sort that out. So yeah. do the Mall of Fiend. So he's sitting on threes because the Disco Lord next to him. I like it. Excellent. One hit. One hit. Beautiful. Uh, two's to wound. Excellent. Okay. Fantastic. Well uh, done, Mall of Fiend. Just hugging the truck. Uh, lashes. They're a bit better. They're a little bit better. Wound of falls. Okay. One wound. One wound. Minus two. Uh, okay. Five up. No. Uh, damage two goes damage one. Wow, one damage. Big moves over here. Yep. Actually, I'll just use this one. Uh, back here. Nine remaining. The sorcerer has three attacks plus one for charging. I just said, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was expecting some. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so this sorcerer, uh, one extra hit. Yep. Then these are strength five, I believe. So wounding on threes. Uh, three wounds of minus three in him. Okay, he's very dead. Cool. So that so means now. This guy basically gets to go three inches. Well, I'll do it properly, but six inches up this way. Okay. The Vi thing can do the same as well. Okay. Do you want to explain why? Uh, because he charged, he still gets to pile in and consolidate. So perfect. Okay. Yeah. So we'll move those in. I'll remove my dead. I'll fight back with the truck. It's I think it's like three attacks on sixes. Probably yeah. Um, there we go. Nothing. So even if it's not, and I just cheated, the combat phase is done. Yeah. Um, and we'll go on to Gene Steeler Cult. Uh, well, let's do. So I've lost a lot of guys here. Oh yeah, of course. So yeah, morale. Yeah. Um, it'd be a one to pass morale. So I will spend the two CP and keep them in the fight. Ooh, cheeky, cheeky. Okay. Um, so CP been spent. They're sticking around. Um, you're going to solve it into the bio figures? Yeah, we'll do. I'll do it off camera, and we'll get into Gene Steeler Cult. Turn two. Come on. End of the moment phase for the Gene Steeler Cult. Um, and the the bio figures didn't actually kill anybody, but he ran away afterwards. Yeah. Um, he stabbed you with a needle and you just laughed. He did at him. two wounds, but I was safe. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Taking two out as he ran off. But anyway, so alas, not. Now, let me take you through the movement. There was a lot going on. Um, I was trying to get the crossfire to work um, to showcase to you guys uh, how crossfire is useful. Because um, someone, people were saying, hey, you know, you can use crossfire a lot more. I was using a lot of combat armies in the previous games. So this one got me more shooting and I want to see how it operates. So. With that, uh, over here, we've just shuffled a little bit more with these guys to protect um, the Magus from any shenanigans in backfield. I think he can get back over here again and stuff, but should be fine is what it is. Um, Magus has shuffled a little bit just to get line of sight over here. Then we have moved out of the truck with the Flamer squad. Um, the truck then fell back out of combat. It's now acting as a barricade um, if the Morphine should survive. And the Biophagus ran first behind over there, and then out came the squad. And they're now, um, I guess, buffering and protecting against that Mall of Fiend and this guy over here. So not great, but um, it is something at least. Then um, I'll just do it all together. Come up from underground. On top of the building poured a pool of neophytes. They have come out with 20-man squad, of course, identical with the um, their brood kin on the other side of the table. And then over here from underground came the big squad with saws, the six saws, facing down eight inches away. I love the eight-inch now. It's made a huge difference. Yeah. Um, eight inches away from the Disco Lord. Uh, the other squad of five has just stayed put again to try and um, deny a bit of um, Deep Strike from the Tide of Traitors, potentially. Or if they're still alive, they'll just come back full squad. So 
Tough one. Yeah. That's the <laughs> the other squad, these guys came within six inches because they can, but they won't be charging, but they will be shooting, of course. Um, and the Primus has come down as well. He has meticulous uh, planner. He has the upgrade to allow him to do it twice. So I'll give reroll ones to wound to this squad and to this squad right here, both obviously core. Um, and then he obviously gives his four reroll ones as well. The Kellamorph has come down and he has come eight inches away from this squad right here. It might be, or it might be within six. Basically, he's not charging anyway, but he will be doing some shooting. And then he can move afterwards, which is pretty nifty. Yeah. So um, pop those of shots at him and then go and hide over here. Exactly. That was kind of the plan. Um, shoot the sorcerer who is closest and then run away afterwards. Over on this flank, we have the gene stealers coming to take this backfield objective. I think if I do, I'm probably going to die afterwards anyway. It's really yeah. tough because I don't know what, what else could I do with them. No, but at least that takes away my home objective and... Yes, I think taking this one already. As I've well. taken that one because the... still this one. So yes. like that puts you at least on three. Yes, it does. Uh, that puts you on four actually because one, two, three, four. Yes, so that gives you stranglehold as well. It does give me stranglehold. As long as you make that charge, I need to make that charge. I do have three d six on that one because yeah. um, obviously then it also pulled the Leviathan maybe to deal with them etc. And Huron. So it's it's units assets going away from my bulk of my army over this side, so I could try and regain control of of. Uh, it this splits my forces. Fields. Exactly. What do you want to do? Which I want to do. Do you see the stuff? Um, I think that's everything. These guys have come down. I mentioned those, obviously, um, and they, they daisy chained. That's all there. Psychic phase coming up. Now, um, we're going to start with a CP being spent. So I gained one, and I lost one again. For Jessup Consciousness, so I can do this anywhere on the board, and I'm going to give extra attack to this big squad of 15 here, just so get a bit of extra oomph. From Mike from Beyond. So I can do that anywhere on the board for one CP, which is nice as long as it's a blessing ability, which it is. Uh, and I now need to see if I can get it off. I don't get that off, but my one per phase crouchling reroll, <laughs> I will do. Nope. Excellent. That's the Pharaohs as well, is it? Uh, double one? Double one is the Pharaohs. Are you sure? It's not double six and double one? It's double six is Pharaohs, right? Double six is Pharaohs and double one is the No! So you take D3 mortal wounds. Damn. Take three. three. Thank you. Wow. Did you always have a one? Yes. Hmm. How many um, she got left? Three? She's got, I think she got uh, five wounds. I think they, they buffed them up. Maybe four or five. She's only got one or two left. Yeah. Not good. Um, and then I'm actually going to cast just a simple smite into the closest thing, which is the Mortal Fiend. And that goes off yeah. on ten. So D3 Mortal Wounds. And that uh, is just the one. Okay. okay. Now, she does get Irresistible Force cast on doubles, but I don't think double one counts. Uh, check. Um, no, because double one automatically fails. Automatically fails, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> wow, brutal. That was rubbish. I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, that was rubbish. You did not do well for me there. That's all the psychic phase done. Now I need to get into the shooting phase, and the, the way I need to shoot where to get the crossfire markers is important. So uh, we'll come back in a second. Okay, we quickly checked the Crouchlings uh, rule, and it's double. it is on doubles, but it's only if it's passed. And obviously, I didn't pass with my reroll. I draw double ones. And yeah, double ones is perils. I just, you know, in my head, because I a while ago I just said, <laughs> Um, oh, I made a Warhammer Fantasy joke or yeah. something like that's part of it. He was like, no, that's not right. And I thought, oh. And it, for some reason, my head was the same again. Um, Warhammer Fantasy on the brain, folks. I hope I can't wait for it to come back. It's going to be amazing. Anyway, so uh, we have, now the new rules are that these guys don't have pistols anymore. And also the Icon doesn't have a pistol anymore. <laughs> it infuriates me because they've got lots of arms and they would have a pistol on their side. Anyway, point is, I've only got eight shots. And the swords are hand stacked. Because it's a big, heavy... So as you understand. But the banner... The banner should have... He's got three arms. I mean, one arm's free. He's just waving. Um, anyway, so eight shots going to go into him with the pistols. I need to get five. I am re-rolling ones to hit um, and to wound, of course, because it's just attacks from the um, alien majesty of the Primus. So, hitting on force. Yes, that is... Oh, four. Uh, we have two ones, though, to re-roll. So I need one four. That'll do it! Hey. Yes, we have a crossfire marker, people! Dun, da, da, da. Welcome. And now he is exposed if I shoot with certain units. Anyway, these all hit, which is great. Um, and now, strength 3, toughness is 6, or so 6 is to wound. Two wounds, no AP. Twos. Twos. Lovely. Absolutely loves it. Wasted now, those sixes. Yes, a waste. Now, um, that being said, let's move on. Actually, let's go on Kellamorph. Yeah, let's go on Kellamorph. So, is he doing his slug worm? Yeah, we're going to do the worm tooth rounds. So, I lose I lose the normal ability to shoot um, characters as if they were in a crowd, etc., um, amongst units to pick them out. But I still get my gunslinger ability. 
And because he has perfect ambush, he has plus one to hit because the pistol, uh, the ammunition is heavy, which is minus one. So he's back to hitting on twos. Um, so here we go. So that's two hits, one miss, of course, but I get two more shots for, I'll re that, that's very cocked. So that's four hits in total. Now he gets plus one to wound because of perfect ambush, because he has a crossfire unit, um, which is beautiful. So I'm now wounded on twos because it's turned six, threes to twos. That is four wounds at minus three, damage three. So you just make three sixes. Now, oh. the sorcerer is splat, and then he'll do a little seven inch move. Whoop. Round here to hide off with his buddies. Absolutely beautiful. So that being done, I'm now going to, in terms of uh, shooting wise, I need to do these flamers. And I'm gonna do it into this Maul of Fiend so I can get crossfire on him too. I will do it off camera, but I will do the 96 um, shots. Three, six, need one more dice. Now the thing is, there's 10 of them in the units, but of course, the yeah, icon can't hold the flamer, so there's only nine flames. <laughs> taste the salt through the screen. Ah, oh, taste the salt. It's just such a silly rule. Um, anyway, okay, so this is 96 going into the um, Mall of Fiend. He gets a crossfire mark because it's auto hitting. Ta da! That's what. And we'll do these wounds. 20, 34 hits? Yeah. I'll, get, I'll do the wounds and we'll see him in a second. Okay, here we go. So we're starting off with this big neophyte squad there. I'm going to be splitting the attacks. Now, from what we know, you can fire, uh, everything has to fire one unit to get a crossfire. So they have crossfire markers, but once they have crossfire markers, and then the unit wants to shoot, they can obviously split fire. It doesn't lose anything no. if you do so. Not that we can see it. Not we can see anyway, but yeah. So basically I'm gonna fire all the auto guns into these guys right here. I'm gonna fire the Webbers into the Disco Lord, Disco Lord because he's obviously crossfired. So um, he's only so Four. He's only showing four, and I have to beat the strength. So fives do mortal wounds, which is fantastic. Um, and then on top of that, the four mining lasers are going to go into the Ball of Fiend. And the two, where do we say the grenade launchers are going? Um, into... Well, it's either wounding him on fours or wounding him on uh, threes. Why not? So I'll go with him. Yeah. Why not? Try and get some extra extra goodies. Um, let's go. So we'll start off with the auto guns. This is it on fours, though, because it is um, not cross-fired into these marines. Uh, these five hits? Uh, yeah. There's crossfire. Five hits. There you go, crossfire. Yeah. Get these out of your way. Thank you. Didn't get any re-rolls on these guys, no? No, not on this squad. They're too far away. Um, but I did get um, three, fives. yeah, three wounds. To bad. Three wounds onto oh. the marines. No, wow, fine, okay, they love it. We do have to do six saves on him from the flames. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Remember, good, well done. Well, I have my six dice here, and I was yeah. like, wait, that. <laughs> there was something. Ooh, Fails three. Three wounds, damn, excellent, on the flame. That's good shot, guys. Obviously not a lot of wounds. Um, I was like, oh, yes, yeah, so he's exposed now. He's like, no, no, it's the unit has to completely shoot him first. He's not exposed or anything. Then he gets the crossfire marker. Um, me being excited. So, but yeah, he did six. He only done more, obviously, with a plus one. Now we go on to the four laser beams. Oh, the six. Uh, yeah, four lasers. Four laser beams. Uh, into the morphine. That's just hitting on threes. Uh, minus one ten for heavy or the. Uh, uh, it doesn't count if they didn't move, which they haven't done coming up from okay. underground. Cool. Um, oh, uh, maybe it does actually. That's ambush. With the ambush marker. So hitting on back on fours because they moved. Um, two hits. Wounding on uh, two twos. Because he's exposed. Two wounds. Uh, Invaluable saves. Mm. Uh, these are what? D6 damage? D6 pop? damage apart. I will spend one of my CP. One of the CPs are being spent. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. 2d6. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that is three damage. Yep. You haven't CP'd in the shooting phase. I haven't, but I'd probably save for one of the ones that are better shooting over there. Ten, oh, potentially. That's not great. Okay. Um, let's do the two crack grenades into the other guy. Hitting on threes. That's one hit. And wounding on threes. That's a one. <laughs> And then lastly, the two uh, Webbers, it auto D3. So that's one, two, three. And then any five plus, it doesn't get plus one because it's just the innate ability of the weapon. So any five plus is a mortal wound, uh, right. which is three. Wow, three mortal wounds done onto him. That makes me very happy. Excellent, okay. That's that squad fired. What we're gonna do is fire the next squad, um, which is the Neophytes one. And we're going to, everything that can visibly see Oh, this is a tough one, actually, hmm. <laughs> because the Maul of Fiend is still knocking around. 
I think I need to shoot the morphine with the laser beams, and then I'll fire everything else into this guy because then they well, can charge. Crack grenades to focus on him, or? There's two crack grenades, yeah, two cracks and two webbers. Yeah. Um, we'll go into him, and then the rest go into the morphine. Yeah, because this guy doesn't matter if you don't kill him and shoot him because you've got all the souls there for that. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. fingers crossed. If they make the charge, otherwise I'm in a bit of, bit of trouble. Um, so we'll do the four lasers. Um, and there is a CP I could overload fuel cells where I get an extra one damage. But if I roll any ones, which I get to re-roll, yeah. then uh, they die. So uh, I might do that for a CP to show everybody. Overload fuel cells for my industrial weapons, which is my four mining lasers. So this is hitting on fours plus again. One, minus, one, yep. minus one plus one. So fours, re-rolling ones. So three hits. And then twos to wound the Mortal Fiend. Rerolling ones. All go through. And this is D6 plus one damage. Wow. Uh, so that's minimum six damage, so he's dead. Yay! Does he explode? No. Good. He just goes... That's the end of that. And then we have the two um, crack grenades from the grenade launchers. Going in, uh, re-rolling ones thanks to my meticulous planner uh, for one hit, and then uh, re-rolling ones thanks to um, the command phase ability he gave them. That squad, no, <laughs> they failed. And then um, we have two webbers, D3 for five. Ooh. That's nice. We like that. Um, so fives. Wow, three more. Nice. Down to how many? Six. Down to six. That's just from Webbers as well. That's from yeah. That's just from Webbers. Webbers are great. I need more. I've only got five. Well, they're great against him because he's only strength four. Profile. Yes. True. True. So. true. That's very true. Um, that's all fired. That's all fired. I think that's everything. Uh, you got these little guys can do uh, some pop shots. Three pistols. Yeah, probably three of them. Hitting on threes thanks to um, being cross fired. That's three hits, but they're not. Um, they're not uh, exposed because they're on the other side. So one wound. And I've got, oh yeah, you're right, you've got to do my auto guns. How many is there? Five of them. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, how many wounds is there, sorry? Uh, just one. No EP, of course. He's fine. And then five, right? So ten shots. Okay. Hitting on threes. Rerolling ones. Like Marines. Wow. Okay. And then wounding on fives because of the plus one. Yeah. Rerolling oh, ones. Wow. You nothing but ones. <laughs> Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five wounds. No AP, just the two ups. Oh, loves it. He absolutely loves it. That's all my shooting, folks. That I think. Uh, yeah, that's all my shooting. Uh, let me do some measuring. Well, I don't need to do measuring. But we're getting to the charge phase coming up. Okay, so we're into the charge phase, and there's an interesting one: covering fire for a CP, which I could spend on here. I'm not going to. But essentially, if they have a crossfire marker, I can stop them from overwatching, which is yeah. pretty cool. Um, you, you scroll in all kinds of scenarios, but I won't do it today because it's only a couple of bulk pistols, don't you worry. But I will spend a CP on coordinated assault, which is if they have a crossfire marker, then it basically makes them fight last until all else are units are fought. So yeah. it, for one CP, I'm basically stopping any intervening, which you obviously would have done, yeah. either, or, either or. So um, in that case, one CP, they are now going to be fighting last. We're going to start over here with my Gene Steelers. Yep. And I'm going to spend a CP to Overwatch back there. Nice, beautiful. So we got Las Cannon first. Las Cannon. Yay! 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 Yay. I fought and vulnerable save. No, that's one dead already. And uh, obviously rapid fire bolters. Yes, we rolling one from Horon. Excellent. That's hit, and then a four. No. That's a no. But got a gene stealer with a last cannon in the face. That's pretty cool. I don't think there's quite enough though. Uh, yeah, not quite enough. A trap is sprung. I can roll 3d6 um, and then discard the lowest thanks to the upgrade. Wow. Okay. That's them in at a 10. Um, I can drop that one. So those guys are going to go into here, which I will move in a second. Over here, we have the this squad of acolytes are going into this squad here. Uh, I don't really need to roll too much, but that'll do on a four. Then over here, finally, the most important one. So you go spend your last CP to re-roll it. Don't forget. You fail it. Don't forget. I've got um, re-roll charges like you, my friend. Damn. Charge because of the four-armed emperor. He believes. I need an eight. Come on, folks. Otherwise, we're in a lot of trouble. That's a seven. We're re-rolling. Thanks to four-armed emperor. That is an eight. Oh. That is us in. That is at least something here. Let's move everything in and get to fighting. Coming up. 
Okay, it's time for the fight phase, and we're starting off here because I don't want you to intervene and chop them up, which you would love to do. I know of you course. would. <laughs> the old uh, death to the false everyone on fives is pretty disgusting with him. So we're going to start with the saws. I'm going to spend my last CP. Dun dun dun! It is done, and put on them the uh, bore through. So if I'm against the vehicle, I can reroll wounds. I reroll wounds anyway. Um, actually, if I'm rerolling wounds anyway, and I reroll ones. To wound, yeah. I'm wounded on twos, right? Because you're always, oh no, wound on threes. Yeah, because what's strong for you? I'm strength uh, eight. Yeah, wound so on threes. Wound on threes. So uh, I'll be rolling twos. I'll do it for CP to show everybody. Um, for a second, then I thought I was twisted helix. My beloved mm -hmm. twisted helix, because I'm strength nine there. Anyway, here we go. Um, we roll ones because I'm still within range. I should be. Yes, within nine. Yeah. Um, so all hit, which is beautiful with the swords. And now we're looking at threes. We roll. Wow. I know I was rerolling ones, but those two twos, they count for CP. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, that many. Minus a lot. Minus four. So five up. Damage two. Uh, that's not bad going. Wow. But I still fail four, which is enough to kill. Hey, good. I got Even worried CP there. Roll I know, you get crazy with your rolls sometimes with these guys. It's... Horrific, <laughs> but the, he is done. Beautiful. Now we shall move on to the gene stealers. It's gene stealer time. I've cleared a way for the beautiful dice of death to go into these guys hitting on two. So then take out the ones, which not too bad for all DC. Talking to the third person. Strength, four. strength four, toughness four, and this is AP three, damage one. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Okay, I'll let you do the rest. I'll take out the misses. Okay, come so on now. Take out the misses. We're trying to play Warhammer. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, sixes. Not, not bad, not but bad. Yeah, no, still more than enough to kill. But if they had two wounds? One, two, three, four. Just, <laughs> just would have done it. Salt in the wound. <laughs> Salt in the wound. So we'll remove those, and then finally... We've got this squad here, and we count up the dice and attacks, move them in, consolidate, and get to fight them. Okay, last unit to attack now. Uh, 21 attacks going in to these Chaos Beast Marines. Hitting on threes. And then I'll reroll that, because that was... Oh, that's a one. It failed. And then we're now wounding on fours. Need a good roll here to get rid of a lot of these guys, but I fear they will return. Um, that's not a great roll. That is uh, six, seven, AP two. So I can't kill them oh. unless morale is an issue. Fives. Nice. So four dead. Yep. Not enough. That is not good. Not good at all. One, two, three, four do. And these are five guys there. Let's fight back quickly. What's in here? Yeah, fight back. So the champion. Yes. Two hits with the additional hit. Yep. Uh, Three wounds. Three wounds. Minus, um, one. minus one, sixes. That is uh, three dead so far. This is not going well. <laughs> Other four. Oh. Okay, not great, but you get three more going in. Yep. Thanks to the icon of success. And then uh, fours. For another four. four. Minus one. Yep, sixes. No, so seven dead in total, leaving me with three. That is not good at all. Um, so morale for me, and morale yep. for you. Maybe yep. a bad exchange there. Not great. So do yours first. Uh, three plus I lost. How many? Sorry. Uh, Did I just seven, lose seven? Yep. So that fails. So uh, I lose one. So I got two left. Yep. And then on ones and twos. Uh, one more. So one left. The banner is left. Yep. Uh, I lost four. So I need uh, one to four. I'm good. Ah, nice. Okay. So with that, I'll remove all those. The banner is the only one remaining there. Uh, there's no other morale to take anywhere else. And we move on to the turn two of critical success. Wow, beautiful. Here we go into the end of the movement phase for the Red Corsairs. And a lot of aggression, of <laughs> course, on the part of Chris. Would you expect anything less, Red Corsairs fans? We've had an advance roll and a forward momentum from the Disco Lord to probably get to charge within there because he can obviously fight up. The Mortal Fiend has come around to probably squash my poor Biophagus. Um, he is not long for this world. He actually did nothing all game. Yeah. 
Exactly. Yeah, exactly. My fault. My fault. It's not his fault. Um, and then we've had moving this way with the coldest to try and charge potentially and shoot at the um, big squad of gene stealers that still remain. Huron has now come down to challenge them as well. That would be a cool fight if any survive. I'd love to yeah. see Huron versus gene stealers. <laughs> Pure strength. And then this squad is just shuffled over here to shoot more over onto the gene stealers as well. Um, the one this revived and stayed put or just shuffled? No, he moved up. He's, he's moved back up. Here. Oh, of course, he was back here. This guy moved up because he was in this objective. He just moved to push forward as well. And then lastly, three CP is being spent. And here is the new squad um, of no longer Red Corsairs. Technically not, yeah. <laughs> so Because they're not part of the detachments anymore. Yeah. Because it's a new squad. It's a new unit to your army. City rules. They don't get the Legion Trek. City, city rules. No, did, yeah. I did, I, did I talk about the city rule here? Okay. <laughs> if I didn't, I'm going no, to didn't. highlight. So, um, neophytes are allowed to take an auto gun, which I, I would assume is a two hand weapon, yeah. um, and an icon. Fine. No, no, it's worse because they have an auto gun, an auto pistol, and an icon. Yes, they do. So they have a pistol, icon, yeah, exactly. And these guys can't take it. GW, what is that about? Yeah. Let the salt flow. But this guy does have a sword, sorry. He has got a sword. He has a and cult a wave, dagger. Wave, the cult yeah. dagger and claw, exactly. Yeah. It's just, essentially, I know why. It's because it's the way the, the models come in the box. Yeah. But still. Yeah. Still. So silly. Now, um, that being said, that's all the movement done. So yeah. now we'll go on to Psychic. It's just her and left because the Calamorph did uh, some great work against that sorcerer. He did his on. job. He did his job. Yeah. He did. It yeah. doesn't happen often. Does it? No, it really doesn't. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to start off with a Super Smite. No, oh, not quite, but that's enough. One dead. One dead, okay. And, and then he's going to do uh, Presence, which will go on this Leviathan. Presence of the Leviathan. That's double one. Excellent. Excellent. Um, da, da, da. One CP left. I'm just going to take it. You can take it. Three. That's a three. So that's one on him, and then Horan takes two. Wow, okay. Horan, silly boy. A lot of, a lot of psychic uh, weirdness going on yeah. here. Maybe it's because, you know why? There's a shadow in the wall. The Tyranids are arriving. True, yeah. Uh, and you need to get it's out of here. It's starting to affect us already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I think that's everything. Shooting phase, we'll go straight in. Yeah, go straight in. Okay. So let's start off with these guys up here. Okay. So the four bolt guns going down here. Yep. And the last cannon going down in the truck again. Oh, nice. Let's see if we can get this truck. So yep. uh, four. Yep, because the squad moved. Yep, that doesn't matter. He's a hit. And oh, that's five. a wound. Yep. Beautiful. So uh, save for me. Um, I get plus one. So yep. five up, right? No, goes through. Damage is one. Wow. Thanks so, to the uh, reduction. Down to eight. Yep. And then they bought one, the bolt guns. Bolt guns. Drop two. Okay. Uh, uh, fours. Wow. Uh, five wounds. Okay, that's not great because we all know that I can't roll four up saves to save my life. Hey! Just one. Cool. I will take. This one. Yep, it's probably this one. Yeah. Because now I've got. Let's see how many of these guys can get in. Ah, uh, okay. Do you want to grab uh, your dice and we'll come back? No, it's nice and quick actually. Oh. So I've got six, seven shots at the front. Plus eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Look, he says. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen shots. Fourteen shots. I mean, that's quicker than you. That's not too bad. Is it any minus one thanks to this? Uh, or no, they're all fine. They're all down this uh, alleyway, as it were. Cool. Uh, these are hitting on fours. Hitting on fours because of the mighty cultists. Yep. They're pretty good. And now we know fives. Two wounds. Two wounds. Kill two. Yeah. Kill one. I'll take it. That's, <laughs> that's not too bad, actually. Yep. Three uh, gene stealers down. Now, do you want to have a little think or are you happy to carry nope, on? Carry on. So carry let's on. Go for the Leviathan. He's going to put everything into here except for the missiles. I'll okay. save them for a bit longer. I like it. I like you saving missiles. Just for, you know, he doesn't need to shoot them. Yeah. So, uh, everything into the four neophytes. Uh, Volkites first. Yes. Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. No rerolls this time. Okay, that's a good thing. Wound on threes. Wound on threes. Three wounds. Three wounds. No AP, and I am in cover, and I do get... Well, it doesn't count, right? It doesn't you know, add more cover. Because no. I count as like cover anyway. So, um, these are four saves. Save one. Didn't matter. So, two are uh, dead. So those two. 16 storm cannon shots. 16 storm cannons. Not bad. And these are wounded on on threes. So no threes. That many, that normal many. Six, plus one minus one. Uh, okay, so plus one minus one, so five ups. 
I say four, so that's three, six more dead. One, two, three, uh, four, ooh, five, six. I'll take the champ, so I'll probably suffer that with morale later, but I've got the old icon, that's a big something. Yeah. Uh, let's go for this Leviathan. He's gonna put everything into these guys. Okay, that's not good for me. So I, think is... I'm, I think I'm out of 12 there, so it's plus one to my... <laughs> <laughs> Please, <laughs> be kind. Uh, so, Volkites? Yes. Ooh. Three misses. Yep. Three mortal wounds on yourself. That's how it works, right? Four wounds. Four wounds, no AP, because they don't believe in AP. The modern hero versions that get it, turn one. It's true. Five ups. Uh, one, three dead, one survived so far. Oh, and then. Put a little marker here, don't mind me. Oh, the Volkite. Now all the storm cannons, sorry? Yep, storm cannons. And now threes again. That was four now, thank you very much. Silly. Games Workshop for that. There you go. Minus one. Minus one, so six is, I uh, say two, so that's uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dead. Only three, uh, five left remaining. I will remove those. I will carry on shooting. Oh, any more shooting? Uh, I've got bolt pistols down here. I've got flame over there. Okay, we'll carry on shooting in a second. Here we are, removed. I've left it as, uh, well, I said I left it. I was like, Chris, can you just remove them for me? Yeah. Um, so he just removed them. There's the best thing to do. Keep the swords, keep that, um, the, obviously, the icon alive. Um, makes the charge a little bit harder, but I, you know, I know the reduction of damage by the swords, but yeah, I'll wound easier at least. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so last thing is actually just the flamer from there. I'm just gonna go up and these guys. Okay, makes sense. Flamer going in. Four shots. Four shots. Uh, threes to wound. Threes to wound. Four wounds, and that's um, uh, minus two, so it's minus one. Minus one. Cover. Okay. Uh, save one, so three more die. I'll take you three. Yeah, all the ones with the water guns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Uh, he's not even there. Yeah. And that is into shooting, uh, into the charging phase now. Yeah, charge phase. Oh, orange flamer. Because I didn't do his flame. Oh, he's got a flamer. Yeah, he's got a heavy flamer. He does. Oh, Six. He's very angry. Strength? Five. Wow. Three more, please. He's very angry. Wow, he's very angry. Four up saves. Uh, saved. Oh. So just two die. Saved four of them. Still got four genes to do that. Yeah? That can still be a problem. Uh, yeah, that still could be a problem. There you go, there's four Gene Stealers remaining. I think you can kill all them in combat. Do you want to start charge yeah, phase? Yep, let's start down here. Because you don't want to shoot those pistols over there to make the charge longer. No. Makes sense. No. Start here. Yep, he can't fail. There you go. He can fail because the minus two, but ah, of that was still a five inch charge. So yeah. Hopefully he'll be able to chop them. He will. Uh, this is a nine inch charge. Of course, nine inch coming in for deep strike. Can they do it again? They cannot. Uh, do I need to CP anywhere else? No, so I will spend my CP that same. Yes, CP! No, oh. that's a three. They're just sitting there. Uh, over here, I need probably about a three. Yeah, need a three. Just... There yep. you go. He's very much in. I'll measure him a second. Yeah, you. you uh, the Mortar Fiend is actually going to go into the truck and here. I like that. I uh, might actually have to charge these guys as well. Okay. I think to get within. A five. five. That's going to be enough. To That'll be enough. So we'll put him in there. We'll see. Plonk him in there. Yeah. Ah! There you go. He yeah, actually fell off the building. As that's a mortal wound. Yeah. There will be within an inch of them, so we'll charge them as well. Yeah. Uh, that disc lord's going to charge him. Oh no! The the lowly acolyte. Dink. He's in. Can't fail. Um. Oh, the cultist statue. Do you want to do a long bomb charge? I like long bombs. No, because the problem is then I'm giving up that middle objective. It's going to be like a 10 inch shot in it. No, I won't bother. Horon, okay. Horon could do it by himself. I think he can. I think he can. So grab some dice and we shall see coming up in the fight phase. Starting off the fight phase with Horon and he's using his axe. He's not bothering with the um, fist flamer goodness. Yeah, I don't need the damage D3 or no. the double strength. So yeah, so, yeah, so um, hit with the axe. Hit some twos. Nice. All hit. hit. One extra hit from the six. Nice. The death of the force, everybody. Death of the force, everybody. Uh, wounding on threes. Wounding on threes. Uh, only three, three wounds. So one survives, potentially. Um, well, guaranteed one survives. Guaranteed, sorry, one survives. Four ups. Uh, so two dead, two survive. Oh, so they could do it. They could do it, but I think I'm How many wounds? He's got three wounds left, right? Three wounds left. I've got no CP to do, to a save, so. Uh, uh, in the middle here. In the middle. The fists are going to go here. Yep. And the last turn is going to get there. Makes sense. I'm going to ignore the big squad because I don't care about that. Yeah, you don't care about that. So this is the fist uh, hitting on threes because of the Discord Lord. Okay. Wow. So the truck's going to survive. Ooh. Oh. And I'm just going to say that um, because of 
that plan generation is in the making, you couldn't demon forge, right? I spent my CP now, didn't I? Yeah, I couldn't do it anyway because I only had one CP. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. So it was very, very, um, very. It actually worked. It worked, yeah. guys. <laughs> um, he's toughness six, right? He's toughness six. So one wound. One wound. Minus three. Uh, trip save. So six. No. Uh, damage three goes down to damage two. Nice. Two damage down to six left on my truck. It doesn't seem to die. Now he's on the. Yes. Hit on threes. Nice. Good there. Toughness four is long distance. Uh, toughness three. He's just a little uh, twos. Normal human. Uh, four wounds at minus two. Uh, he's dead. He doesn't have any vulnerable or anything. I'm pretty sure he's got five up save. Excellent. Yeah. So he's he's just squished. That's what by by Vegas. And then should I just remove him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Jesus is attacking back. Oh yeah. Here we go. Okay. So <laughs> that's the only thing. This is important, everyone. We have. Uh, Oh, picked up the right dice, that's a good start. Uh -oh. Hitting on twos. Missed one. And then, um, turn four. Turn four. Moving on fours. Uh, that is, that's a lot of wounds, six. minus three. Six wounds at minus three. Uh, four, four wonderful save. save. Oh, he's dead! Yep, no. Yes! The Horon is slain. Well done, Gene Steelers! God damn it. Woo! Victory noises for the Gene Steeler <laughs> cult. Beautiful thing. Uh, that's in the game, right? If I kill the warlock? No. Oh, what am I thinking of? Um, I don't know, but it's not this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, morale now, right? Uh, yep. So, Gene Steelers. I have none. They lost nine. Uh, they're definitely running. Does the other one run away? He doesn't. Uh, he survives and he holds the objective. Damn. Yes. I should have done the long bomb charge. Should have done the long bomb. Would you have made it? Dun dun dun! No. <laughs> uh, morale over here, I've definitely failed. I just need to roll um, a one, which I don't. So yeah. one drops. How many do I have left, sir? Uh, three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. There's five, there's another two, and there's another two. So, uh, ones and twos. Uh, so three more drop. One, two, and another. Yeah, nice. he'll do. <laughs> and then morale over here, I've lost a lot of... Ten. Yeah, a lot of them. So, yep, one drops. And how many do I have left? Four. Four. Four, ones. Four ones and twos. Hey, just one. Okay. And then... That's it, right for me? I'm, I charged in there, didn't I? Uh, did you? Oh, yeah. We forgot about that combat. Yeah. So let's put those guys back. Yes. <laughs> and let's, let's fight first. Yeah. So, five attacks. Let's get too excited over the uh, Genie Steelers. Hit some threes. Ooh, drop two. Uh, wounding on... Nine toughness four. Threes, I think it is. Yep. Uh, two wounds in here. Two wounds. No AP. Five ups. Hey, one drops. Cool. So now I've got saws. Yeah. Two. Uh, three then. So six attacks with the saws. Hitting on... I'm still re-rolling ones, I think. Um, oh, am I still within nine? Probably not. Uh, I'll leave him out. Most likely not. Uh, no, no, you're not. Okay, and then um, wounding on. I'm trying eight, so wounding on threes, but I am re rolling ones at least for this because I'm within 12. Yep. Uh, sorry, I, you get it until the end of the phase anyway. So one Just one wound. Which, uh, Minus failed. four, which he fails. Damage one. And then two attacks from the icon man. Um, two hits, and nothing. Re roll ones. No, nothing. Cool. Um, okay. So then you fail your morale. Yeah, I fail my morale. He drops. And then you roll the three dice because you rolled more dice last time. Uh, oh, did I? So one, one more. more. I think it's probably not even actually. If I leave him, then you're not normally in combat. Yay! Everyone's happy. That's the end of the turn. Uh, I'm now going to go into my command phase. Come on. Before I get stuck in the movement phase, I'm doing my command phase. And uh, Chris informs me because I'm holding his objective on his deployment, so I get an extra CP. Woohoo! So I get two. Um, I will do now summon the cult for my neophytes. I get D6 back. Uh, two. That was a six. I saw, everyone saw it and it rolled over. And then I get more D3 back here for another three. That's very, very tasty indeed. And now we should go into the movement phase. All right, here we go. End of the movement phase for the Gene Steeler cult. It's a really tricky one. Um, it's, it's, I think it takes time to finesse and learn with Gene Steeler cult, especially with his new mechanics on where to move, how to move, to get the maximize. And essentially we've been doing it together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, in order to get the best. What we've done is 
this was a, a bit of a discussion because if I stayed on this objective, of course, it helps, but then this squad is going to come and murder me. It'll probably do it anyway, um, but at least here, it's a further charge. And then additionally, we have to move around, so we do get the minus one for moving with heavy weapons, but it allowed the Kelomorph to move and, of course, the um, Primus to move and get eyes on him and also get potentially crossfire on him because this is a crossfire vehicle um, and it cuts across. Now, on... Um, his command phase, I forgot, don't forget, I gave um, reroll ones to wound on him because he gets within 12 and onto this for the attacks on this squad of near fights. Um, yeah, so they've moved, both moved and essentially is a bit of a gambit. I need to get rid of this Leviathan and I need to get rid of this um, Maul of Fiend and I'm probably looking a little bit better than I was. Of course, the one Gene Steeler stayed put, he's just gone onto the terrain actually to get the old um, minus one to shoot at him, but he's about to be dead anyway. But he's at least held that objective till next turn for me. He's safe for now. He also scored you two CP. And he got, yes, he yeah. scored me two CP because of the uh, holding your objective, which is beautiful. Um, Chris did kindly, he removed some of these models earlier on. Then he said, well, I would have removed the other one to keep them out of combat, which is, which is true, uh, I would have done. So he's kindly let me uh, allow them to basically operate as if they're, they're normal. Um, and yeah, so we kept them stationary because we needed to. Um, we've moved around here with this squad of five and moved around here with this squad of five because I was, I'm in an R and this is the thing is where can you get the easier or, or at least a, a chance to get chaff to give you that crossfire so then your good units can then shoot at, um, at the targets and get the maximum amount um, of benefit. And then Chris was like, so they, they got grenades, right? I was like, yeah, they got blasting charges and they got frag grenades. Brilliant. Yeah. Genius, Chris. Not just a pretty face. <laughs> um, and uh, so hopefully, maybe with a frag grenade and some shots, I might be able to crossfire on these guys, which will really help. And then I have, um, obviously this is crossfire, so I've got a lovely, basically, angle here where I can shoot across and get some exposed, etc. Um, and I've got two CP to play with with that. So if I can remove those, that would be super strong. Let's go into the psychic phase. I'm going to start off with uh, Mike from Beyond onto this squad of um, Acolytes. That goes off with a 7. Beautiful. So they get plus 1 attack. And then lastly, I'm just going to smite that Maul of Fiends. That is a super smite. Nice. Nice. D6. That's a 5. Wow. Great start. Absolutely great start. Beautiful. Now let's go into the shooting phase. Come on. Starting with this small squad of Acolytes, I've got obviously four pistol shots, and then I have my D6 frag grenade, which is going to be six. That's pretty big. Okay, so that's three, and then another three. I might as well do it all the same time, right? It's all the same. Yeah. Fours. One, two, three, four. Do you reroll ones for them? Uh, not for them. They're too far away. Of course. You can spend a CP. Could spend a CP on a four up and give him plus one to hit. That is really strong. I actually don't mind him so much um, because the swords could probably do the work into him True. afterwards. Um, I actually, what I'm more bothered about is the Leviathan. So, and I've got the other squad basically doing the same thing over here. So it's probably worth it there. Anyway, so hitting on fours and then wounding on sixes. Nothing there. Um, now we'll rinse and repeat with the other squad around the corner. We've basically got the four pistols and then the D6 frag. D6. Four. I saw the six for a second there. Okay, come on now. Now these are re-rolling ones because they are within six, uh, within nine. Sorry. And ah, uh, there it is. You know that one as well. Oh, thank you. Full house. Yeah. That was a hit. Yeah, full house. Well done, boys. Clutch moment. Do it for the four-armed emperor. Um, so no wounds because it's turn six. But more importantly, but importantly, he's got a crossfire marker. This is huge. <laughs> this is huge. Right now, um, with that being said, I need to go and check the stratagems to make sure I'm going to use the right ones. I think this one increases my damage, yeah. um, which is really handy. I'll probably do it on them, but we need to just quickly check. Starting on the shooting phase, we're going to start with the Kelomorph, and he's going to be firing everything into this now exposed Leviathan. He is using the Worm Tooth rounds, so he's got three shots instead of six. Um, now they get the plus one, so he's moved, so back to twos again. Um, so three hits, which become another three shots, and that's all hits. And then it's turn six, so normally it'd be fives down to fours because I am exposed. Fours uh, for three, and reroll ones does not work on him. Three saves. Uh, what's the AP? Uh, AP three damaged. So fives. Wow, six damage. 
because obviously Jeremy Destruction puts yeah. him down to seven. Put him down to seven. Okay, we like that. We like that. Now, next up, we're going to fire everything into from this squad into the Leviathan. Now, the only thing is I can't fire is the Webbers because they can't beat anything strength around here. Yeah. Um, but it is what it is. So, everything going in. Let's start off with the... Um, so do, the lasers. do the lasers, exactly, the big stuff. Hitting on fours again, so plus one, minus one, because they moved. Rerolling ones thanks to the aura of the big guy. No, that's not great. Um, can't reroll a reroll anyway. That is one wound though. I didn't spend my CP, but I would have on the extra one damage to reduce it, if you yep. remember. Yeah, so ahead. it only affected one, but we did talk about it off camera. So the uh, fuel cells. D6 damage. D6 damage. Six plus one. So back to six. There's a damage reduction. Yes, back to six. So I'm left on one. Left on one. So okay. Two, well, two crack grenades. Two hits. We need that again. Uh, Rerolling ones to wound. Because that unit was given. Uh, one wound. AP. Minus one. So three up. He's fine. I'll make you roll those 20 dice. I know. Oh, we should actually do the Primus first. <laughs> well, no, this is all one squad. Oh, yeah, of course. I just got excited because he has a rubbish weapon against vehicles. He's got a needle pistol. But imagine shooting the eye or something. Yeah. So this is hitting on threes. Rerolling ones, thanks to the Primus. So, dice. Jamie, then these, I could have spent a CP for the auto sixes. Yeah. Automatically hit. Uh, I forgot about that. Uh, live and learn. Five to wound, Fives to wound with a reroll of one. Okay. That's what, four or five? Uh, oh, five. That, another one, another one. Come on, five up. No. So, five. Two ups. He's dead. He's dead. Got him. The auto guns blew him up. Victory for the cult. Oh, oh right. he doesn't pop. But that's the Leviathan down. Wow, that's big on this flank at least. Yep. Until they get charged in the rear and it all goes horribly wrong. Um, <laughs> and now we have some free shots, which we're going to put everything into, I think, the... Um, everything into Discord. Disco Lord because I'm hoping the Saws can put the work of seven wounds into him. Uh, they got the extra attacks as well. So fingers crossed. Now, um, let's do the two Webbers first. So 2d3 is um, three. And then five ups. Two mortal wounds into him so far, thanks to the Webbers. <laughs> Brilliant, I need more of those. <laughs> um, and we've got pistol from the champ. That's a hit and nothing. And then auto gun. With two hits and uh, nope, no wounds. Uh, You're top no, of six, right? So. Um, and then finally, four mining lasers. Wow. Okay, so that's two hits. Uh, threes to wound. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. Do you have a CP? I do, but I think I want to use that for the bore through to reroll again, or you know, maybe the industrial weapon one. Yeah. I'll have a little look. Um, but that's the end of the shooting phase. There, did a couple wounds on him, but. Not yeah. enough. I think that's everything. Just, Just charges, charging. yeah. Can't really fail, but uh, other six, that'll do it. We'll move them in and we'll get to fight. Okay, another big moment for the cult here. The Emerald Eye is watching. Um, we are spending our last CP on a bore through, or bore through them. Um, basically, rerolling wounds. I know I'm rerolling ones anyway, thanks to my earlier uh, Primus giving them that, but now I'm rerolling twos as well. I think for a CP, it's probably worth it. Hitting on threes. So we dropped. Four. And then we are wounding on threes, re-rolling. Look at those twos. Worth it. No, nope. <laughs> absolute waste of time. Uh, five that's saves. five saves. Minus four. Demon saves. Uh, four. That is him dead. That's eight damage. That's him gone. Uh, just, the icon didn't have to do anything. He's too busy trying to find his gun. He doesn't blow up. But that is the Morlefiend done. And I'll just shuffle them forwards to help the um, block. Basically. Block. Yep. Yeah, block basically. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for me. That's it for my turn. Now we'll go into, quite happy with that overall. The cult is still strong, but I fear the retribution is coming from the Red Corsairs. Okay, end of the movement phase here for the Red Corsairs, and essentially a couple moves. The Discolor has moved as close as he can forwards. Nothing else much he can do thanks to the blocking of that sacrificial squad. The uh, Leviathan has come on hold on this objective, which is nice. And because I am I am holding that like, thing onto that terrain, touching that terrain with the truck, um, because I wanted the crossfire to push as much as forward in the previous uh, turn or my round, then he can see him and shoot him, um, and potentially could wipe him out. And he's still got three missiles, remember? 
Then over here, the other squad has pushed up, and we're debating whether to charge the G Stealer. I'll probably just. I'll probably shoot him first, but worst case, they can charge around into him. Ah, okay, okay. So, so you can get the two objectives. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. And then over here, we've moved forward and advanced with this squad to get them in there. Now, we're playing it as you get the right process. Yeah. I think it's stupid technicality that they're in your <laughs> unit. It's ridiculous. Yeah, they're still part of the army, so we're playing it as that. They're right, says. It's stupid. Yeah. Um. So, but what I have done is I forgot I could move the, after shooting with the Calamorph. And I moved him seven. I'm going to sacrifice him. It's points to Chris, but it means that the bigger unit here can potentially survive because there's less bodies that can pile down and yeah. chop up those poor boys to pieces. Um, but I am giving him three points for, for doing that. But uh, yeah. it is what it is. You've got to sacrifice these things for the greater good, for the cause. The greater <laughs> good. That's the wrong That's the wrong yeah, guess. That's Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it. So let's go straight into shooting because Conan yeah. is dead. Do you remember when he got eaten by Jeans Thieves? I remember that. Yeah, man, man. he's still snacking happened. on him over here. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> what are we starting with? So these guys are going to shoot the guy eating Horn. Oh, I like it. All right. Uh, the Lads Cannon will go down with this truck. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's roll over here. Yeah. Do it here for you. They're hitting on fours because you're in the. Yeah, oh, they're, very, they're very angry. Winning on fours. Uh, Three wounds, four wounds, three, three wounds, wounds. Um, and ah, oh, just, cool. just. So that's the genie stealer gone. Um, don't kick him. <laughs> <laughs> don't kick him. So that's at least now um, taking me off that objective, which is pretty big. Yeah, um, it means I can't get onto as well, but I don't really need to. I don't think. No. Hopefully, I should be holding one, two, three, four at the end of this turn. Yeah, least. exactly. Uh, the lads kind of come down. Yep. Hits. Wounds. Nice. He's consistent. He is consistent. Um, Fiver? Yes. That truck will not die against that last cannon. What is going on? Uh, uh, so let's go to Leviathan. So three missiles will go there. Yeah, three missiles into the truck. Volkite and storm. one of the storm cannons up there. Okay. The other storm cannon down. Understood. Not a problem. So, so missile. Missiles. One hit. Excellent. Beautiful. Can I still kill it? No, you can't kill it. That's nope. a wound. And then uh, minus? I think it's minus two. Okay, either way, uh, a three will not save it. Damage! Oh, six, six becomes a five, <laughs> leaves her on a wound. <laughs> you can flame her in. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, so there are the Volkites? Yes, Volkites. So you're hitting on threes. Yep, and then uh, wounding on threes. Uh, what's the toughness of it? Strength five. Strength isn't it? six. The strength six is wounding on twos, because uh, they're only toughness three at the top. Yeah, they? yeah these little guys. I don't know if that was two or one. I think there's another two in there. Cool. So, so five. Five saves. Um, uh, plus one. So four. Yeah, you're only right top of the missile. Uh, brilliant. So, so one. Two die. Oh, because of mortal, mortal wounds. So two die. I will take uh, you and you. And now the storm cannon up there. Storm cannon. And then uh, this is twos. So that is five. Five. Minus one. So it's normal save. Normal save. Five ups. I saved four of them again, so one oh, is damn. taken. Wow, okay, I will take you. Yep. Then the other storm cannon come down with these guys. Yes, storm cannon. Two misses. And now this is threes because we have toughness four. Um four wounds. Four wounds. Um we get to cover. Are we in twelve? Uh, dun 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 dun. Yeah, uh, you're within twelve. Ah, so no okay. cover for you. No cover, so sixes. Still save one, so three are slain. We will take uh, I guess you three. Uh, and that just leaves the flame yes. from the Disco Lord. So killing that truck would be nice. That would be nice because you do time get the tally points. Killing these out of the way would be a lot nicer. Because then I can nice. charge here or here. That's true. So I'm going to flame those guys in front. Flame with the guys in front. That's yeah. a big five. I nice. saw the one. I, I saw worried. the one as well. Uh, you do have one CP at least. Three's to wound. Three's to wound. Uh, four wounds. Uh, minus two. Yeah, they're gone. So they are gone. Oh. Yeah, that needs to be done. Um, might as well go straight to charging. Okay, straight to charging. So this guy be a five inch charge there. Yep. Uh, five inch charge there. Um hmm. so that you can get to both. I Maybe. think I can basically sim at this. Okay. That's but it's but it's gonna be a lot longer charge. Um I think it's more important to kill these guys. Okay. Yeah. Let's kill these guys. Kill those guys. That'll yep. do it with a nine. There we go. Uh, might as well just keep going. Yep. So he's going to go round to pretty bad there. Nine. That's probably a fire too. Did he go up a wound? Did you he did, yeah. Yes, so he's up to 
So let's go straight into him. Okay, let's go straight into him. Oh yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. Uh, no, so wait. So what about the charges over the, over the other side? Ah, true. Yeah, so. uh, too late now. <laughs> okay. Uh, six. Yep, they make it. They'll make it. I guess into both. Yeah, into both. Yeah, yeah I can't overwatch or anything. See no charges over there. So yeah. Yep, let's go in here. Yeah. So this is the pair of chain glaive. Yes. One miss, but one extra hit. Yep. Beautiful. Uh, uh, twos. Yeah, twos. Uh, uh, that's five, five dead. Uh, minus two. Yeah, that's five dead. There we go. And then... This one, three. What are we doing? I'm seeing where it's actually closer for just in three. This guy's actually closer. Okay. So I will tag him. Okay, no problem. So, do you want to do your tags back there whilst I... Uh, I don't even know. On, on one, I think it's probably D3, I imagine. Two, I imagine it's on sixes, nothing. Okay. There we go. I think down here I'm only going to be able to get six guys actually fighting. Nice, okay, yeah. that, that makes me happy. And these guys are basically here, so I'm holding the objective at least. So, nice. Let's do it here. Okay, so, so um, they... let me quickly check the Kalamorph, if he's toughness three or toughness four. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I check. It's toughness three. Um, just want to check in case they can buff stuff up. I didn't know whether yeah. they may have made a toughness four, but he's not a toughness three. Um, cool. He's still a human in that way. We have got the champion and the one guy in the back going into him, and then the other four going into my near fight. Yep. So, so this is the champion. Yep. Uh, so two misses, but one yep. extra hit. Wound on threes. That is two wounds at minus one. Two wounds at minus one. Um, he has a five up either way. So five and one up, say. Nope, two wounds cool. down to uh, three left. And the guy behind him? Four, uh, two left, sorry. One miss, but two extra hits. Okay. Uh, three to wound. Uh, three minus one. Three minus one. Five so again, wounds. five up. Vulnerable save. Nope. Telemorph is dead. I have no CP for the heroic demise, otherwise, I'm going to shut you in combat. <laughs> um, I don't think it would have much one because they've changed now to minus one. Yeah. So it's not, it's not as strong. Cool. And the four other guys. That was pretty bad. But you get the extras. There you go. No fives though, so don't get any. Yeah, it's true. And then these toughness three? Yeah, they are toughness three. They are toughness three. So it's uh, five wounds. Five wounds. Minus one. Minus one, they have five up saves. Come up six ups. No, that's five uh, slain. Um, Guess you want to take that one off at least. I'll take or that one, one off. So just leave him there so I can't pile in as much. Ooh. Um, and then, uh, trouble is that you're going to clip into them, they're going to be in combat regardless, because yeah. you're going to push into him. I need to keep the cult alive to bring back more. Um, so I'll keep those alive, and we'll just remove um, five normies. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Yeah, so we go. Oh, like this. Yep. And that's pretty bad here. Um, Not too bad. Got four guys attacking back. Four guys attacking back. I assume you don't want to pull more back into Oh, with the champion, and he's got a cultist knife. At least I think that's the thing. Yes, I give him a cultist knife and pistol. Hitting on fours. Wow, angry. Wounding on fives. Uh, one wound. Did you re no one still? Oh, I do. So two wounds. Wound. No, 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 thank you. So was it uh, one wound? Um, one wound. No AP. No. no. Didn't take them out. So morale on them? Morale on them. I lost five. Leadership eight. Uh, one drops. So I've got how many left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I've got 6 here. So I do this twice. So I've lost so 1. Right. And then again. Uh, nope. And then uh, 2 more. Just 1. 1 drops. Um, and that's the end of the turn, right? Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. So, goes into my turn. I'm only holding 2, which is not great. Yeah. I'm only holding 2. Oh, no. Yeah, that one and that one. So we'll go into it, count the points, and uh, we'll see what turn four brings. Slight correction here. I had a little think, and I think it makes more sense to pull the other you, the guys here. Chris obviously was happy to let me do it. He's moved forward a little bit further. Because even though I would not get any more back, um, because I lost my icon, because he was over in this side of the um, of the battle, the it makes more sense now, because otherwise they're kind of useless. They will be stuck in combat. They will just carry on attacking them. Whereas this now, I can, I'm out of combat, they can shoot their mining lasers, potentially do some damage to this Disco Lord, and kind of at least give me some more points. Whereas before, um, yeah, it, it just kind of was it, it was unnecessary um, to just stick there and not do anything. Um, Chris did that's fine. So I basically removed them. I don't get any back, but I do get some back here. 
So on d6 back, Ooh, I get six back. That's huge. I'm super happy with that. I got my CP. So now we'll get into the movement phase. Come on. End of the move phase here for the cult, and it's looking like grim days for the uprising. However, um, we shall carry on playing for this turn to see if there's anything that can happen. Uh, not much has moved. We had obviously troops back here. We got some weathers back and extra mining laser back with a few guys. Um, they just stayed put. Then the truck has pulled back around here just to block off for no other reason and to try and hide from that last can that hates him for some reason. <laughs> um, then, obviously, these guys stay put so they can get the, the hit on fours at least and maybe hit on threes if I can cross fire this guy. This unit has come around to do the grenade and shooting trick again. That could be incredible. And then the Primus is sacrificing himself against 20 Chaos Marines. Um, he won't charge, but he will be there at least to block them for a turn. Um, but he does face potentially a cannon and grenades. And it makes you feel better. There's only 19. Oh, there's only 19. Yeah. Sorry. I couldn't afford 20. I couldn't afford 20. Yeah. So, uh, with that, let's just go straight into Psychic. I'm just going to smite. There's nothing else to do. I can't get any extra attacks. Call it anything. No. That's a fail, but I will re-roll with my one per turn. Thanks to the Crouchling. That's a super smite. Uh, but, but she perils. So I think the perils happens first. Okay. Which would kill her so the super smite doesn't go off. And she will explode, I think. Let okay. me double check it. I need to check your Crouchling as well because it says it, it goes off on doubles as well. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's check. She has died, uh, her head has exploded because the bio ships in orbit are now getting a bit too strong. Um, but no, she dies, and even though the crouching says it cannot be denied, it obviously doesn't matter um, because it's not about denying. Yeah, it automatically fails if you die from perils. And they did. Um, if only I spent the CP at the start of the phase to get her, her health up, I thought, what's the point? I have saved that CP for something better. Um, probably shooting him, mm. alas. Now, uh, D3 mortal wounds just on this unit. They're the only ones close by, just for one. And it's the guy that came back. Yeah. That's the that. The autogun guy. It's the autogun guy, yes. Yeah. Silly, you've been bringing an autogun to a fight, eh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Should have brought a better weapon. Um, but that is her. She has done, uh, overall, pretty horrific for me. Thank you, Josh, for that. Um, <laughs> beautiful gift slash curse. Um, I'll have to go back to Silas, my other magus, for the cult. Now we'll go straight into shooting. We're going to start off with the same shenanigans from this little squad of acolytes here. We're going to do the D6 frag plus, hey, it's a big six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the four other pistols, hitting on fours, four, three. Uh, what's the reroll ones range? Uh, reroll ones is nine. Nope, you'll be out there. I'm out. Um, so just three, it's three wounds, and no, nothing there. It's all coming undone right at the end. The uprising has failed. Um, but if you put this squad in, you might be able to get the marker for that squad. Exactly, exactly, exactly. that. And what we're going to do, we're going to put... How many autoguns do we have there, buddy? Uh, four lasers, two webbers, I'm guessing, and two grenade launchers still? Yeah, should be. Yep. So, two, two, and four. Uh, six. Six, six. autoguns. Okay, so let's start off with the lasers. Hitting on fours. Two hits, and then wounding. Uh, Rerolling ones, because obviously he would give them in the command phase, they're the only squad in the range, for um, two wounds, no, two hits, right? I don't know what I'm doing. And then two wounds. Oh, no, was I rerolling to wound there or to hit? Hang on. You're rerolling to <laughs> So there was four wounds. Yes. Yeah. I think so. Ignore. <laughs> four wounds. It's been a long game. Uh, three wounds go through. 3d6. I should have used the ball through. I'm being greedy. Uh, so... Three, eight. six, seven, eight. There's among three wounds. Wow. 2d3 from the um, Webbers for two. Do I beat fives? One. So one more water wound. First? No, the auto hitting. Cool. So one more to Quite wound. luckily. And then two crack grenades on fours. Two hits. Uh, wounded on threes. Two wounds. Uh, one goes through. D6. One, two wounds. He's dead. Wow. Don't even need the crossfire. Don't even need the crossfire. Wow. Popped him. That was unexpected. Uh, needle pistol from the boss man. Hitting on twos. Wounding on twos. There you go. Uh, AP. Nothing. Hey, D3 Mordy. Picks one off. That's at least something there. This squad can now shoot. This squad, yeah. Five fight the Leviathan. So um, we've got four cannons, uh, the laser beams, and we've got, of course, 
uh, the two webbers, which can't be done, and we've got two grenade launchers. So let's do the four laser beams first. I think on fours because they didn't move. For three hits, ah, I should spend. I might as well spend the CP for both of them. Apologies, because I've got anything else to spend it on. Just plus that one damage. Shooting as well, or is it just combat? Not both them. Sorry, uh, the reroll. Re industrial weapon. Industrial one? weapon. So one dies after this because of that. Yep. But we do get the plus one damage. That's at least something. Threes. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, wow. So he gets it. Wow. There you go. Nice. So D six is four. Uh, plus one, five, minus one, back to four. So four damage. Left on ten. And we have two um, grenade launchers, both uh, miss. So you had your four lasers, uh, two grenade launchers, two weapons. So uh, weapons got, don't count. So you got an auto gun there? Uh, no, yeah, one auto gun. Stop I mean, oh, two hits though, and no wounds. And then this laser guy explodes. Um, I don't know if it's actually him or just one in the unit, but we'll take him anyway yeah. at this point. Um, and that. Is my turn. I don't think I want to obviously charge because he'll just die in so bloody not, murder. They lost two from around. They lost two. They reached eight. Yeah, so, so they can't. They can't fail. Um, but that's my turn done. Not bad. Not bad. Killed the main guy, the nasty guy in the middle. Yeah. Got some points there because he's assassinated at least. Um, so now we will go on to Red Corsairs, and I believe what is the final crushing blow. Here we are, turn four, end of the movement phase for the Red Corsairs and the Leviathans just shuffled across so we can get some better shots. We've had a little conga line going on as the cultists swarm over the objectives. This squad has stayed put, probably to shoot the Laz Cannon into the Primus' face, and then the other units have just shuffled, uh, basically forward as forward as they can, yeah. um, up against the, uh, the Primus there. I'm scared if they are against the beast that is the Primus. So, where are we beginning? So we're going to start off with... No psychic phase, remember, because the Genius Dealer's eight Horon. Uh, your one just exploded his own head, so you can't really talk. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. So we're going to start with old Laser Eye Larry over here. Oh, Laser Eye Larry. He's, he's, he's going to finish off the wall. He is. A crack shot. Here we go. He hits, of course. And he, he wounds. wounds. Um, oh, question. Do I have five vulnerable save now? I don't know. But... Oh, it matters. We have to check. Surprise, surprise, everyone. He doesn't have an invulnerable save. I thought you might have been given one, but silly me for suggesting. Um, so, basically... Well, he's got five wounds, so yep. five up, he's dead. Oh, oh. I'm spending my CP. Yes, gonna Larry's gonna kill him. He's oh. <laughs> right, Larry. He's an incredible shot, but he can't kill anything all game. Yep. Absolutely incredible. Four wounds remaining onto the Primus. That's at least something. Um, but now you know he hasn't got any vulnerable save in inscription. I imagine those bolt pistols gonna hurt quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not that they come into it because they're no AP. That's true, but he's nothing to support. So these are 17 bolt pistols. And the last one is gonna throw a frag grenade. I like it. Come on up. 10 on threes. That's not bad. Toughness three or four? Toughness four. Ooh. I know. Did it used to be toughness three? I'd have to check the old book. Uh, six wounds. Six wounds. So Five ups. Should be dead. Uh, yeah, he is gone. The Primus is slain. Um, has opened the doors to attack that squad in the back. That is not good for me at all. Um, what's yeah. up next? Leviathan. Uh, the... Let's put... Uh, He's got one I, I want to kill lots of things. I'm tempted to just charge him and kick him today. I love that. So I'm thinking <laughs> I'll put the Volkites on one Storm Cannon here. Yep. Yeah. And the other Storm Cannon over here. Okay, and not into the squad of five? No, because you've got lasers here and I'm more worried about lasers because they can actually do something to me. They, okay, fair enough. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. So let's do the Volkites going up here first. Volkites. All hit. Wow. That's a good start. That's a good start. Uh, that is six wounds. Two are dead automatically. Okay, take two off for me. I'll take the webs off. Please. And I save three, so another three are gone. So one, two, and we'll take this guy. Three. Um, one storm cannon going up there as well. One storm cannon going up. And then twos. Four. Uh, yep, four. So minus one, plus one. Because I'm in cover. Um, fives. Save two. So just the champ and his buddy with the <laughs> icon remain. Um, down here. These are toughness four, aren't they? Toughness three, these guys, the neophytes. Yeah, the little guys. 
Um, it's a five, five but I am with a 12, so back up to five, save two, three are slain. Uh, thank you for taking, yes, at the back. <laughs> so your <laughs> tiny charge can be um, slightly longer. Uh, yeah, that's all shooting done. Okay, so just charges. Yep. So that'll be a four inch charge into there. Four inch charge. Come on. Yeah. They're very much in. And Leviathan to kick the truck. Kick the truck. <laughs> the truck kicking is in. And we shall see you in a moment for the. See if he kicks the. How, how far he kicks it. <laughs> Starting off the fight phase, we have. <sighs> this nasty lot. <laughs> Come say hello to my poor neophytes. Uh, just this many attacks. Yeah. Crazy amount. Put, in, put in the champion because it's all the same. It's only 36. It's only 36. So, 36 ones. I mean, I rolled a fair share of them. Yes. Six. Wow. Nine ones? But you do have uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve more attacks going in. So that's those nine back. Yeah, so got, and then those three. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So in a nine, ten and twelve, because I rolled some twos as well. So. Wow. Plenty, plenty of, uh, this is what now, minus one, this will be sixes. Yeah, three to wound. <laughs> three to wound. Wow, I mean, okay. I'm rolling a fair few misses for you. You are, but not really enough. Oh, there's another two there, sorry. There you go. Um, sixes, their squad is white. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, let's do the important thing. The kicking. <laughs> Can this truck survive? I'd be so happy if he does. It's pretty sure he's got five attacks in charge. Like six las cannons in him. Three hits. Okay. At threes. Oh, just one wound. One wound. Oh. No AP. No AP. Three up. Ah, ah. The truck survives. This truck will not die. How many las cannons, flamers, <laughs> everything is going to this guy, <laughs> and he refuses to die. But with that, I can safely call the game. Yeah. Um, there is no way I can uh, beat this on the last turn. Um, just is too much, I think. We'll talk about it in the end of the game, but I think the misplay from myself and the Aberrants cost me the game, potentially. Um, but we'll talk about it anyway in the end of the game. We'll do. There we have it. End of the game and a victory to the Red Corsairs. <laughs> oh dear. My winning streak with the cult of all two games <laughs> has now ended. But it was a close game. To um, the pirates, nonetheless. Yes, to the pirates. The hated pirates. They hate, hate so much. Yes. They're not a legion. <laughs> they're nothing. They're just... <laughs> oh, so, anyway, um, <laughs> it was a really good game. Yeah. Um, let's quickly go into it. Um, I'll start because I lost. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> it's, it's, I guess, what I would have done differently because <laughs> to win the game. Um, I think I really misplayed the aberrants in the truck um, where... I mean, I got a bit unlucky because you got some incredible charges off. Yeah. Um, but that being said, I shouldn't have allowed that situation, I guess, to be... And the Marines killing the Aberrants. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, the Marines killing the Aberrants. Yeah. Another fault of mine was that pre-game, I should have spent the 15 points for the Supreme Alchemist to give them a few of pain before the game starts. Yeah. Um, instead, I didn't, because I thought, well, they'll just get the truck and do it. And do it. But I, <laughs> it's my fault, basically. Yeah. I shouldn't have done that. Um, the I know it's a danger of them being in the truck anyway, because, as you saw, it, you know, you could yeah. lose them coming out, um, but generally, what my plan was is to hide hide them in the truck, move the truck up, and hide it somewhere. There's a lot of good cover, at least on this field. And then next turn, they come out six plus three and, and charge, even advance them, and maybe um, use like stimulus to advance and charge them. Yeah. But it just didn't work out. I completely misplayed them. I think yeah. um, if I was more reserved with them, perhaps they could have waited and then come out later on. Because I knew you'd be super aggressive. Don't know why I didn't think. <laughs> um, should have just waited for that turn. So. Yeah. That's the biggest problem for me. I probably missed more stuff, guys. I've got any rules wrong. I apologize. I'm still obviously grasping a brand new codex. Yeah. Um, but I'm really, really enjoying it. Yeah, crossfire worked really well as well. And yes, for my first proper use of Crossfire, yeah. um, it kind of racked my brain a little bit and, and racked both our brains, yeah. I guess, to make sure because it's, I guess, in, in, in my mind at least, when I see the two units on the example, the two units yeah. are like here. And then the enemy in the middle, and you're like, oh, okay, nice and simple. Yeah. But when you're on the field, and this, yeah, and, and there's like angles firing everywhere of what it could be. Yeah. Um, you're thinking, okay, there's a clips over here with this exposed guy and this guy should be exposed there. That's when the mind games really start. Yeah. You need to really kind of start thinking about it. Do I like the mechanic? Or do you like the mechanic? I mean, plus one to hit and plus one to wound is amazing. Yes. yes. 
in terms of the, the power of it, it's incredible, especially if you can get it off and do it properly. Um, I think, however, the for me, I like to play music more combat orientated anyway. Yeah. Um, but it does for GC Nicole players, core GC Nicole players that only play GC Nicole, maybe then one other army. I think it's very good, and you can really hone, hone your skills to get the most out of it. For someone like me that kind of has to rotate between the different yeah. armies, um, it I don't know if I'll ever be able to master it properly. I'm going to be playing them in tournaments anyway. Yeah. So um, for for this year, because um, I really feel like I'll try and give it a go until you know maybe one day. I, Chaos Codex comes out. One day, maybe. One day, maybe. <laughs> um, and if it does, then I'll obviously bring my workbearers back into the, into the fray. Um, but anyway, yeah. So basically, I, I like the, obviously the power of it. Uh, just it's a little bit, it's a lot of head work on top of other things. Um, but I think maybe two more games where you got like this or this with a lot of firepower. I think you had the hang of it yeah. and you'd be fine. Yeah, for sure. It gets but, easier the more, more you use it, for yeah. course. Um, I'll give it that. Um, but yeah, it, uh, and it was good. It, it worked. Look, it kept me in the game at least on this one flank where I was able to get these plus ones to wound and everything else. So I think I'd take the big squads as well. Of, of uh, again, I probably take. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I probably take the um, the two squads of twenty and break them down. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, because there's just more opportunities in the fight. Although I know that I don't think the plus one for the damage and stuff was that important. Whereas yeah. having more options to shoot and get more crossfire. Rather than kind of clutching your straws like I was doing, going, please yeah. get the crossfire. And those five man units did their work. That was great. Yeah. That was a great little takeaway for me, for sure. Yeah. Those five man units were really good holding objectives, etc. Because I usually use t 10 year fights. Yeah. And just sitting in the back. But those five, they, pretty, they did pretty well. Yeah. Lastly, for me, man of the match. Yeah. Uh, or crew of the match, I should say. There's more I than mean, one he, in there. He would have died if we played turn five. No. Yes. He that Leviathan not. was going to put everything into him to no. make sure. Do you know why? Because I would have spent a CP to use him as his own full wounds, and I would have driven him around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and then Larry, Sharp Eye Larry, whatever you called him, Laser Eye Larry, Laser Eye Larry could fire at him. It doesn't matter. It's not going to kill him. Um, absolutely incredible. Give, give me dust. So he would have hit. He would have wounded. Double sixes. Gone. Yeah. Failed your save. All right. Well, there's only one Hello. damage. Four damage. Wouldn't happen. The game's over now. Anyway. <laughs> We're doing the end of game conclusion. Um, <laughs> okay, so that's me done. Basically, uh, I really messed with the Aberrants. Comment below how you would play. I think it's just basically waited yeah. a turn. Um, and I would have had a lot more staying power there. Um, so, would you change anything game wise? I don't think so, right? Um, I not that I can think of, really. Yep. There wasn't. The problem is, when you win the game, you're like, there's less I know, you I know. can think of. Yeah. Um, I think personally, letting the Gene Steelers come in in the backfield. Quite easily, yeah, was a tough one, especially when a horde of cultists they didn't really do much. I thought, to be honest, they were just going to entirely span the backfield all game. Um, I should have really just held my objective, especially because it gave you two CP. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, that so. was really handy, and obviously chopped them up, chopped the poor, and that's a really good point for the yeah. game. Um, yeah, because otherwise Horan being back there safe. Yeah, big squad of thirty cultists around him. That's four victory points you wouldn't have got. Yep. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, one yeah. less kill point as well. Yeah. Yeah, and the G-Steelers did their work, they did the job, and that yeah. one G-Steeler remained uh, chomping on Horan's brain, at least. <laughs> um, but yeah, otherwise, yeah, he played it really well. I mean, I just, as soon as I lost the Aberrants, I didn't have that hitting power to get rid of these big yeah. machines. It became really difficult to pull them yeah, down. Yeah, and the fact as well, you didn't manage to kill the squad the first time. Oh, I know. A few. That was another huge misplay, is that I had them there, and they would have been fine. Yeah. Um, maybe your Leviathan would have shot them up, perhaps, of course, so there's, there is that. They would have just not been there. Yeah. But I charged in... And again, if they were Twisted Helix, we did roll it afterwards. I was yeah. like, what if it's Twisted Helix? Rolled it, I would have wiped the squad out. Yeah. Because the Strength 5 is just so good across the army. Um, additionally, you would have been not been wounding on 2s against the Neophytes. It would have been 3s with your Storm Cannons yeah. because you can't wound the ones on 2s. I just think Twisted Helix is just the best one. There are custom stuff people are talking about. I'm going you know, to look into that further. But for yeah. me, Twisted Helix... Just so strong, yeah. So strong in comparison to to four armed emperor. Although I did enjoy it, I, I'm not gonna play four armed emperor in a tournament. To yeah. yeah, that's it. It's just you don't go for the if there's a stronger one, you go for the stronger one. Yeah, it's... yeah, and it plays more to my style, I think, as well. Yeah. It's more combat orientated. The plus one strength. I'm I'm strength nine. 
with Aberrant, Strength 9 with the Saws. I know not everything is toughness 8, but those things are toughness 8. Now yeah. I'm moving on to these. Um, absolutely love it. I think yeah. it's great. Um, yeah, so let us know what you think of the game. If you enjoyed it, hit the old uh, comment, hit the old like button, all that usual stuff. If you yeah. want more content, we played um, We played on YouTube, I was going to say, but me and Gaz played Orcs vs. G Circle, if you're interested, on yeah. SM Plus recently. That is there for you to enjoy. Hit the join button. You can watch that, of course, or visit our website. Yeah, anything else? Um, you get to join the Discord as well. You do get to join the Discord. Yes, yeah. come in and meet the happy family. You of... can abuse him on Discord. Yeah. This is the highlight. You see the one where they took a screen grab of me You mean Pardo did. Pardo did, and then... <laughs> Paul Barron. Paul Barron. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Come yeah. and join the fun. Yeah. <laughs> Until then, we'll see you very, very soon.